Speak about water. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing in first class? Man, just chill. Like, can you bro. talk to me about what, why you got that? Because it's just like you could see the rest of the flight was like smart enough to not fall for the upsell, but then all of my friends were dumb enough to do it. Why was that? No, no, I, I see the reason why. Like, first, it's a difference. Like, first no, class. not not that flight though. First class when you fly international, you're living lavish. It's way more expensive, but it's a better experience, actual experience. That first class, the seats are just a little wider, bro. That's it. it and you get free drinks. It makes a it difference makes a when you're six bro. three. No, 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 no. You don't get more leg room vertically. That's in comfort plus. You just get a wider seat. So I remember when I was morbidly obese, I had no choice but to sit first class because when yeah. I sat, am I not morbidly obese? <laughs> I mean, I don't know if you qualify for morbidly, but you could sit in a fucking regular comfort plus seat. Am, no. I, am I not morbidly obese? You think Glow can't sit in a seat? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, I did. When I got up and I looked behind, oh, no. when I looked, when I looked behind me, I was like, yeah, those seats look kind of straight. No, no, no those no, regular no. seats, no, probably no. not. They're uncomfortable for me, so I know they would be less comfortable for wait, you. Wait, you. But comfort plus, far, you'd be how, fine. How, how far back were you? Nigga, I was in the ass of the play. Like, I, for, on the way there, I was in first class, I right? Man, Waleed put so, that in. <laughs> Waleed, <laughs> hey. Waleed. Yo, bro, I was like, yo, I know I was hey. in first class, dog. I, hey. I, I, I don't hey. lie. Wait, that nigga so far back, I had to text him like, yo, you on a plane, right? <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey, so on the way there, I was in first class, right? Drunk, just just drinking mimosas, bottomless, just... Bring me another one. She said, "Do you? I do. I do. <laughs> On my legs wait, spread so out." We just came back from Miami. Just for everybody wondering. Oh wait. Also, we gotta. Um, <laughs> Yo, the podcast. We was the only legend winning. AKA. Oh, do we have to do the intro, bro? Say what's up. You just say what's up. Back Hi. to the butt of the play. Yo, play-in. say 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 what's up real quick. Oh, what's up? Noti gang, 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 gang. Word of mouth. Audio Mac. Yeah. Audio Mac. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. Apple Podcast. Rate the five stars. Spotify. Yeah. yeah. And, we're, and word of mouth. And man. we still haven't played 2K. Gaming. 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 Good call, John. We were out there in Miami. We saw a few word of mouth people out there. We did. No cap. We did. No cap. Yeah. So back to the ass of the Oh, play. yeah. Back, man. So <laughs> so I, I'm thinking I'm on first class again. I said, oh, yeah. My affiliate brother got me right twice. No. So I look. So I was like, oh, I'm good. So I walked back. I said, Lo, where am I? Because I haven't flew on a plane like like maybe like nine or ten, eight or eight or nine years. I was like maybe like 10 or nine or 10 last time I've been on a plane. So it's been a minute. So I had Lo to show me everything. I'm wrong, lost. Bro. That's I not know. the point. I'm lost. But oh, yeah, back to the plane. So I'm looking at my thing. I'm like, yeah, Lo. So I'm thinking, am I behind you again? You was like. No, not exactly. You're you're on the back now. <laughs> my my so, my hey, uh, hey, hey, like hey, by the hey. toilet dog? N- 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 nigga, damn near. Yes. I hear niggas flushing. <laughs> nigga. No, 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 no. <laughs> that's the funny part is, bro. It actually don't cost you much money to be like in the it middle don't. of the plane. Exactly. It's just you have to select your seat. Hey man, and will Lee select that nigga seat? The, no, I mean, <laughs> and I when, think, you know what's so crazy I think, too. I, you, what row were you? You roll eleven. I was row four. You oh so, four. So yeah. so then I was like, when I was like, mine was four, so I know he got to be somewhere close. This nigga was in row thirty one. I was like, <laughs> no, nigga, you're not. The only nigga was behind me was a nigga making the drinks. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was one row behind me. No cap. I think oh, it was thirty two. Well, so Lee, well, Lee picked your tickets as if like it was packed. It was plenty of space on that. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, I'm in the back while I'm walking back, so I'm looking. I'm looking. Nigga, you was one of the first tickets ever bought, nigga. And he did this shit weeks ago. I don't know why that nigga. Well, Lee must have been out of it when that nigga scheduled this. I gotta call that him. That nigga must thought it was the back. The back was in front of something. I'm gonna have to call him. I, I'm walking back, so I'm like, okay, 9, 17, 23. <laughs> I said, okay. okay. <laughs> Almost there. I sit down, right? So it's like it's like a lady beside me. I think she's like a dentist or something. She's from uh, maybe Dominican. She kept like mumbling to me. And like, I didn't know what she was saying, but she kept mumbling to me. You know how we lead giggles? Yeah, like, yeah. She started so doing bad. that every time she say so. She was like, mm, 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 mm. <laughs> "I was like, okay." And we get on there, right? So I think midway through the plane, it's like some turbulence. I was like, I mean, the back of the plane was just twerking. I mean, <laughs> and she just kept yeah, praying. The second, the second, the second, the second one was worse. The second, the trip back was no, worse. no, no, no. Really, no. I bro? I was on the time. back of the plane. It, it felt like quick, acrophobia. Though, I felt like I was at Six Flags. And then yeah. she kept scaring me because she wouldn't put the, you know how you close the window? Yeah. She kept it open. The plane shaking in the back, like, really, like, I'm talking about Megan Thee Stallion. I don't know why. Plane, 
<laughs> no, I felt like I was on soul plane. Like I had hydraulic. I'm like, whoa, I didn't feel this in first class. Yeah, I'm I mean, in my no, stomach jumping. No. She well, keep pr- she keep doing this like five times and praying and looking at me like this. I, you know the mask, you just see eyes. She looking at me like this. I said, stop looking at me like that. You know what I'm saying? I ain't been here in a minute. That's tough. Wait, he was doing that when you when we were when we were getting close to Atlanta about to land? No, he's been doing that for a minute. Oh no! Nah. We, we first was took, about to land. We first took off. It was curving. I was like, "Whoa!" Oh, they curving on around the around the thing, huh? No, I'm not talking about in the air. It felt like it was curving when we first got up. Yeah, yeah, it did. But when we was landing too, I was like, "This nigga." And then when we hit, nigga. when we hit the ground, what? Oh, that's, yeah, that's also uh, what? It didn't that's, feel like that, that was in first a regular class. landing, guys. Bro, it didn't, like on the on this first or second one. Both was regular. Where were you at? You in the first oh, class? Bro. Nah, I was in comfort place. He was, he was, like, he was like one right behind. I couldn't me. see none of y'all niggas. I could. I mean, I mean, so I had to text John like, man, you ain't, you ain't right. Yeah, he texted me. When you text me, I think you was off the plane. I was still waiting to stand up because they was probably like at the seventeens getting their bags off. No, I was like, y'all like, I was, I was I almost want to look at you like, you see John? I'm like, I was about to say that to you. John got off the plane like ten minutes after I did. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. God. Niggas in the niggas in the parking lot when I'm walking out the the building. <laughs> Wow. And then oh. I thought they took my bag. I was scared because I just kept watching around, getting dizzy, watching the things spin around because my bag never came out. And we were in a baggage claim, and it was like 10 minutes before somebody grabbed their bag. And I was like, yeah, we had the wrong one. Like, and I just, I kept looking yeah, at everybody. It takes a while sometimes. Don't ever, don't, y'all, I can tell you I don't fly a lot. Don't, you don't, unless you absolutely need to, you don't bring something to check in. You never do that. Unless you're staying over a week or something Well, he like didn't that. know. Yeah. You didn't know neither, bitch. You can't. No, 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 no. He didn't, no, no, he didn't know that he was flying. Yeah, it was a surprise. Oh, oh yeah, so you had no yeah, clue. So I, had so no clue. clue. I thought I was going camping. Yeah, yeah, but that's like, that's, that's <laughs> I thought it was a prank. Huh? We supposed to be pranking you. <laughs> yeah, 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 about that. <laughs> now, nah, but yeah. we was in Miami, though. Uh, my first time, no, my second time in Miami, but that was my first time in Miami, though, because last time I went, I was there for like a day, and it was just business. I went to some conference, and I bounced out. Um, this time, like, we got a chance to drive around the city. I kept telling Marcel, like, we need to rent a car. He, he went to Uber the whole time. <laughs> this nigga, you're, you're <laughs> such a... And I, and, I, and I hate when you do this because you swearing up and down. You didn't say that? It's the other way around. Marcel. We touch down, and I go get a Marcel, car. Marcel, legend he's of like, winning. He's like, yo, I, I t- I'm telling you, I, I've been doing this already, bro. Like, we're literally <laughs> eating at um, Bacon Bitch or Bitch Bacon? Which one is it? Oh, bacon bitch! Yeah, bacon bitch! Oh yeah, we're, I love that place. No, it was horrible. We we were we. Were it was eat- actually good. What'd you get? Nigga, what is something with bacon on it, nigga? Well, what'd you get, love? <laughs> it was a croissant. A who? A had a, it was a croissant with egg. What do you say? A crusade? A croissant. What's, what, what is that? The French fan. The French fans are it was mad a, right now, bro. A, I know. It was, <laughs> it was a it was a croissant with bacon, <laughs> eggs, and um, and like a hash brown patty. Oh, the hash right. brown patty was fire. John, what are you talking about right now? It wasn't good to you? No, nigga, you're from Atlanta. You should not, your standard of at least that type of eating should be higher than that. I, th- I was good, and I just kept calling them bitches. You know what was good? It was you, you, <laughs> you, you, were you. you. Yeah, because cause she, I walked in, right, and I didn't know that was the theme of the restaurant. I didn't even know that it was called Bacon Bitch. So she walking in, it's like, hey, bitches. I was like, the fuck? <laughs> Who the fuck are they talking to? Oh, every like, time like, she they, said that to me, yeah. I wanted to, like, fight a little bit more. No, they, they said it so calm, and it was like, it was like hey, bitches. My like she, she walked, that walked like, in, bro. She tried us off rip because she was like, "My bitches, you know what you guys want to eat, my bitches." Yeah, I'm like, yo, you gotta chill out. I, I, I started playing you. around. I was like, I was like, "Well, bitch, I don't know what I want yet." <laughs> and she, she was like, again, like, "Yeah, yeah, my main bitch right there." Yeah, yeah. and she was like, "This is my side bitch, the one that's training." I think she only been. I'm t- not okay. Let's. She let's didn't like ass. it. Oh, let, no, 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 no. But there was there was grown men. With shirts that said side, side bitch. bitch. Yeah, that's I'm the like, worst. Bro, there's, there's no that's way the this job is paying you enough to put a shirt on like yep. that. I'll, 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 I'll no, rather, the service I'll was incredible, scam. though. Huh? The, the s- service was incredible. It, the service? It was all right. Yeah. It was all right. It was a, well, we was at a bigger table. Go, so more bro, people. the place we went to on, on our flight back, that's misery. Those are miserable people that spread their misery. Oh, yeah. Through your just interactions with them. So, you know what I'm saying? But that place was the opposite. Like, I it mean, was the opposite. People were full of life. It's Miami, and it was early, so they just got in. So, it's early on their shift, so they're probably a little bit happier bitches. But other <laughs> than that, I think... The, the lady at the restaurant we just went to, right? I was trying to ask her. I was like, I was like, yo. I was trying to figure out. I was like, yo, so what's a 10? I asked her. I was like, how good is the burger? She was like, a five. She said everything on the menu was yeah, 10. Five. five. She didn't lie. Everything was mid. No, but, no, uh, no, no, no. That was bad. It wasn't just mid, bro. Mid means I mean, it was a five. It wasn't awful. Like, like I ate it. Was, it was like, like but it was five. That, was that verbal place we went yeah, t- was mid. The 
the place at the airport, that chicken spot, was bad. What is, what That's two out of ten. I food. asked her. I don't I, know if it's a, a it's two, a two, out, bro. a two out of ten. One is, is where repulsive. I wouldn't, I wouldn't two is eat. bad. One is one is I'm actually going to send it back. That's how bad it is. Two is I'm just not going to eat it. Three is three is I don't want to eat it, but it's like it, three is I'm gonna pick around to figure out what I'm gonna eat. Or not. Four is not seasoned. Five is five is I'm gonna eat it and I'm just not gonna like come it, back. but it's good enough for me to come at least back. finish it. No, bro. No, I'm that's still not that's that's what a four is. Yeah, a four is it's just good enough for me to eat. That's why I rate, I rate it a four. No, if that's not a fucking four, bro. No, it is a four. She that's did me dirty not too. A four. A two. A two is so bad. To where the I would, biscuits I would, had no flavor. Sneaker was like, "Oh, this is good." I was, I was better off getting. How's the burger? The burger was good. No, nothing was good, bro. You, bro, you, she you said. Eat the burger. I asked her. I, I asked her. Eat a burger. You he, ate a he burger. He did. He did. Yes. Oh, yeah, a lot. I thought, 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 yeah. uh, thought Sneaker took that burger. Because no. she kept saying everything was a five, so I was like, "What's a 10? You know what she said to me? She said it comes after nine. Yeah, And that's the response she would have got at any open mic if she tried that joke. It was unfunny. <laughs> it wasn't funny at all. <laughs> that was unfunny, bro. It wasn't funny. <laughs> it wasn't Jesus. funny. Oh, we talking about a, a bacon bitch. No, yeah. bacon bitch wasn't. It, the food wasn't that good, bro. It, I actually liked it. I, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed it. The food was like the food's like a five or six. I think the bitches made it better. And it was just I got so comfortable with it. I just call it start calling everybody bitch. Hey yo, bitch! That's what I said. I, I told her I was like, because I was like, um, I was like, can I get a water with lemon, please, bitch? And she was like, oh, you a bougie bitch. I said, I am a bougie bitch, bitch. <laughs> and she walked away, right? And she got to give me a scrub. I said, hey, bitch. The side bitch look out of mad. This is her second day here, so she's not used to being called a bitch. Get used to it. It's your job, baby. You a side <laughs> bitch now. That'd be wild. You told they told somebody told her, like you gonna get used to being called a bitch. Yeah. I said, hey, bitch. I ain't get straw. She came back. Bye, bad bitch. I said, all right, bitch. But then I think I, I think it depends how you say it. If you say it like a gay nigga, like hey, bitch, like it's kind of nice. But I <laughs> said it one time. I said, case, then what's what? Don't you don't need to have your job? Huh? <laughs> if a grown man can't call you bitch like a grown man, then you don't need to have that job. No cap. I should just say what base of my voice, and you should still just. But it just sound it. it sounds so wrong. Cause I said it one time. <laughs> then don't then don't accept the <laughs> but job. But no, I said it one time, and it just sounded so bad. No, you know it'd be bad if you called them niggas bitches. You call them men bitches. I like, if you it, if you address them like, "Hey, yo, side bitch, come pick up this nap." <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if you said that hey, to the men, hey, hey, what's your I'll name? Be pissed. What's your name, Tim? Shut up, bitch. I need some more fries. <laughs> These fries are cold, bitch, and I'm not eating them. <laughs> now take your bitch ass back there and give me some hot fries. <laughs> you fucking, where the main bitch at? I, I'm, I'm, sick, I'm sick of these side bitches out here fucking shit up. Bitch, where my lemons at? Oh my God. See, that's like, that's like rude. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, hey, bitch, come on. Can I get some fries, please? Please. I call it that. You know what I'm saying? Nah, if you just, not I mean, if you told that, if you told a man, like, hey, can I get some ketchup, bitch? I would. I I'll don't, be so. I just want to see what happens. I, I think them niggas would be upset. I'll be. I'll be slight tight. I wear I'll a shirt. Tight. Say, I'll be tight. It say side bitch in Times New Roman on cross my <laughs> Which chest. Which is wild. And like a size seventy two, maybe seventy two Times New Roman. Yeah. Niggas walking size around. <laughs> niggas walking around picking up dishes. You a down bad bitch, huh? <laughs> and if you love, he's like, all right, bitches. Uh, yeah, that's what like, I said on the way back. You She's like, bye, hey. bitch. I said, all right, bitch. Oh, you guys try. Well, do you been to LA? No, oh, I've been okay. it was a long time. Ago. Let me provide you guys context. Those beaches in Miami were the least dirty beaches I've seen in a very long time. Yeah, like next to Chicago, because when I was in Chicago, the beaches were clean too. Huh? But yeah. that's just because it was winter, so nobody was out there for Chicago a while. Chicago has beaches. Yeah, there's Lake Michigan. It's a lake. It's a beach. Is there man. sand and water? Is it man-made? No, it's a lake. It's a lake. <laughs> <laughs> but you said it's a beach. Yeah. Uh, the way the way that the beach, John. the way that the beach occurs is that it's just erosion. It's just erosion of the land because the water a, keeps coming. I up. thought a beach. I thought a beach leads into the ocean. A no, beach can a, lead into a sea, into a lake. If the body of water is large enough, it's going to eventually erode the shoreline, and that's what that. That's so what a beach is any water with sand. Yeah, Toronto had beaches too from Lake Ontario. I live like any, five any, minutes from a beach growing up. Any any water that's large enough to start eroding land like that is a beach. Anyway, or a shoreline. Um, I guess. The, oh, like dude, that was a clean beach it was. For, for what it's for a big city. When you I, go to I, LA, I actually didn't go on a beach. When you go to LA and you go to Venice, like you'll like the vibes because it's like it's a boardwalk. There's actual basketball courts on like Miami. Like they had basketball courts. 
Yeah, this is in one of the LA? most popular courts. Oh, we're talking about LA. We're not talking about Miami. Yeah, no, no. Miami should add those because they have way too much volleyball courts. Like people be playing volleyball. Yeah, I ain't basketball. seen a single they volleyball stuck in the '90s. No, yo, the. Put a volleyball courts. That's like a decision. That's like we don't want the basketball crowd here. Yeah. We want the volleyball crowd here. There's no crowd for that. There wasn't. It, it was, was empty. Sand. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, that's, that's a, a, a wasting a, nets. They were stuck in the nineties. Yeah, that's, yes. that's, a, that's a nineties thing. So first of all, I think we should have played volleyball because that would have been a blast. But I don't think y'all have ever. You played. missed it, low. Y'all ever play volleyball? Me and your boy was out there doing damage on the football field. Well, the sand. I play. I play oh yeah, we did. Play, you scored the winning volley. touchdown. Oh, that's gonna be oh. I know you're, you. You seen a lot for Patreon content. <laughs> oh, Caleb. Um, hey, Bob, that, well, is, are we launching that shit yet? We already uh, talked about it in the video. Play, we supposed to launch it by end this month. Okay. All right. Hey, click the Patreon link. We're gonna do some full promotion for it at some point. But yeah, we're recording some beach football. Um, to answer we, your question, I pl- I play. I know how to like. I know the rules of volleyball to play. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, yeah that would have been fun. I think that would have been a blast. I used to be a libero. We could do it still. We could play volleyball. Playing volleyball in Atlanta is fucking. <laughs> <laughs> don't feel the same, bro. I just thought, nigga, playing volleyball in Atlanta is wild. Where, like, where, where would you even play? Where do you find sand at here? Anywhere. Go, no, you go, just doing the court. We go to the lake or beach. Oh, no, no, no. I mean beach volleyball. I don't mean like. It's beaches. I've never, I've never played beach volleyball. Oh, beach I, volleyball is way more fun. It's beaches in Georgia. I play, I play beaches. That's sand. Beach. Oh, I guess you go to Savannah. Where? In like Savannah? Savannah. Savannah. That's a four hour drive, bro. <laughs> cut, cut it out. Stop it, John. Oh, yeah. I took a plane to get to Miami. Yeah, I get it, but it was a two-hour flight. <laughs> so we, we can take a plane to uh, Savannah. Oh, where? This is the airport. Okay. okay. Anyway, yeah, that was a surprisingly clean beach. That's not a look, and look, just briefly. That's not a plane to catch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> just be clear. I'm not, I'm not, I'm go not hopping on a plane to go to Savannah, Georgia, <laughs> and I'm in Atlanta, Georgia. I'm not, I'm not doing that. Well, how much is that? Like a fourteen dollar flight? <laughs> yeah, that's really be like, uh, nigga, it'd be more taxes than the actual flight. We play seven nine nine to fly Spirit. Yeah, hey, I I'll never in my life jump on a spirit plane. No, 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 bro, I did it one time. I I, I flew f- spirit first class. It's like Delta Comfort Plus. It's just like you don't know why. Like spirit first class is like yeah, in terms of price and quality. So that means they don't really actually have first class at all, uh, which is <laughs> which is sad. Jesus Christ! They just have a like a little bit more comfortable experience. How did? <laughs> Well, come on, bro. I had to get my rump shaker together, dog. <laughs> I'm never in my life getting on the spirit um, plane. You that's, have to that's, just that's, for the experience, no, bro. Yeah, I like to experience my life. Man. Man. No. You drove a that's, fucking broken down Highlander for years. Stop it. I feel it. like that's still safer than a, a Fred Flintstone flight. <laughs> <laughs> that's a Flintstone flight. Man. Yeah, bro. <laughs> nah. nigga, bro a nigga speed up with his fucking feet, foot out. You know what's funny? <laughs> it's like, I be, I be talking to people that aren't. Like they're not rich, but they still feel like they're too good for spirit. How you feel about that? But how, how, is the price that much different from spirit? Is like so much so, cheaper. So much cheaper. So much cheaper. How, People how much still much? decide not to, though, bro. That's like, how bad it is. People like a food, de- like a food truck ribeye to SDK ribeye. I don't know. When I was looking at the prices for Caleb, but it wasn't that much of a difference. It depends on which flight, <laughs> but like let's say from here to LA is four hundred dollars. Oh yeah, I'm pretty spirit sure. will be like two fifty, three hundred. Significantly still, cheaper. Uh, well, better. if it's three hundred, that's not really three hundred is not. But two fifty is getting to that point yeah. where like we almost damn near doubling the price. Yeah, so that's that's why it was like that for me. Where Spirit was half price, so I went first class Spirit. It was the same price as the Delta one, and uh, I just I still didn't like it. I felt wrong. I was like, I hope no fans see me here. <laughs> Jesus, is that Agent like, Zero? That Agent that in Spirit right now? <laughs> is that? I gotta caught that nigga in Delta first. <laughs> actually, that's a actually you know what I'm saying that's. Um, that's my first time flying and it not being Delta though. That's an Atlanta thing because most like Delta is so popular here that everyone's just used to. Oh, where are you going, Delta? Delta, Delta, Delta. That's like hey, that's like true. Toronto and Air Canada. You find out Toronto shit is probably Air Canada. Yeah, yeah man. Because in Atlanta, for you that don't know, like Delta has literally like their own section of the fucking uh, airport. Half the airport belongs to Delta. The other half belongs to every other airline. Yeah, <laughs> which is crazy. In, in, in Atlanta, uh, the airport in Atlanta is already the, the I think second biggest in the world. Mm-mm. It's the busiest in the world. Now, let's the talk biggest. about. I said the second biggest. I don't know if it's. I don't think it's the second biggest. I don't even think it comes close. I know it's the number one busiest though. It's actually such a relief. You don't understand because you're used to living here. The Toronto Airport, Pearson Airport, horrible. By so many metrics. The reason why people, this is the busiest one, is because they staff so many people that they can run through. It don't feel like there's traffic in that airport, so you wouldn't think it's that busy. But there's so many people that go through, they just do a good job of getting people in and out. 
It's beautiful. It's so it's so refreshing after dealing with bad airports my whole life. Mm. It's mm. actually really nice flying out of this airport. You want to talk about? What's Let's that? talk about how Miami only had beautiful women. <clears throat> like everybody was tens, right, Low? Stop. <laughs> right, AJ? Everybody no, no, like no, no, all no, of them. No, all of them. You you now you trolling. No, 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 but, no, 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 no. Low. Come on, Watch man. yourself. Not only now you trolling. Trolling? But I, so when I was um in the Uber, a lady was telling me like a lot of people who are in on like the Miami Beach are not actually like Miami people. Oh yeah. So then I'm like, oh, we just basically we just talked to a bunch of niggas that might have just been from Atlanta. Nah. No. From around the country. They're from Atlanta. I mean around the, I'm not saying they all from Atlanta, but like Oh yeah. They're... Every every black person I was like, man, you were like you from Stone you, you like you down the street from Stonecrest Mall, no cap. You look like <laughs> I seen you before, man. Yeah, like hey, well, you was at Linux two weeks ago. Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> no, I met a lot of niggas that weren't from here. It was one dude, like he was like in the Kodak Black flocking video. Remember them apartments? Yeah, he yeah. was walking through. I was like, it was he was he was just looking real like mad at life. I just wanted to, you know, what I'm saying, hire his spirits. I was like, yo, bro, you want to hop in the uh, in a uh, public interview? So he was like, I'm from here, bro. And just kept walking because he was like, man, I'm not one of them tourists. I'm not. Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm really from here. I was, I, was, I was like, yeah, yeah. He did look like he was from here. Yeah, like, like he was really from here. But it's just like, I was like, okay. <laughs> but answer, answer your question, John, about the tens. It was too many tens. Like I, I didn't, honestly, see, I didn't see no fours or fives or threes came oh, out. Let, let's be quick. We, 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 we went. <laughs> no, we I went. saw a lot of twos and threes though. Where they was out there, bro. They were. But if you asked them, it was tens. But oh, that's what I'm saying. Like everybody's <laughs> acting like there was like. Beyonce, like it was just like I was just crazy. Yeah, I was like, apparently, the Kevin Samuels Beyonce's not a ten. It, no, it must which have been like a Victoria's Secret a, event or something. Definition of one. It must have been like the Beautiful Women Parade or something. Like or it must have been something. <laughs> something was going on that had all them tens there. It was just like they couldn't I, be stopped. I, I mean, so I, I mean, so serious. We we can just go to Linux Mall and see better women. Man, that's what I said. I said, I, man, I think I don't think I saw a single actual ten there. Which is like that's fine. Did you have your contacts in? I had my glasses on, man. Man, I'm just talking. I was just, I was baffled by this. Like, I've been looking at people like, wow. Can you imagine John just being baffled, just walking you know, around. Funny, you were asleep <laughs> while I was watching him do, but John was just shooting his shot, and like they would just like almost as if like he was just a homeless man begging for change. Like they just pretend like his he didn't exist. Exactly, bro. And and then and then I looked to verify, like, is that what I thought I saw? And they were mid, so like, that's why. Like, but I was like this. So <laughs> hey, hey, isn't that hey. crazy? That, it, that hey. she can be from Atlanta and just go to Miami and just act like that because she's in so, Miami. So like this, we went up there. We was doing that right. So I'm talking about. I took three L back to back. But when you yeah. shoot, that was bro, when we were when we left the beach. That's right, right when we left football. Yeah, I saw that. So right. So that's when I was sweaty. I had sand on me. Right. I'm just shooting my shot. Shoot or shoot. Yeah. But you gotta get them L's out the way so your confidence, right? You know what I'm saying? So you're yeah. used to it. Then we had a happy hour, right? Happy hour. Where was it? I, happy hour. They had free drinks. I had eight of them. I went out. I went thirty three straight. What does that mean? Uh, thirty three in a row. Thirty three in a row. Numbers and Instagrams. Bro, why? Huh? I was just. Were I was just, just asking unattractive women, or like, no? We you... found, I found. I found some decent ones. I found some seven and eights. Oh, okay. I thought they were all tens. What? Huh? <laughs> oh, whoa! I thought they were all tens, hey, John. Yo, oh, I, I'm done trolling. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, done. I'm done. It was a lot of ugly her girls out there, no cap. Yeah, you know what I I saw the most interesting thing on the plane. I was telling Lo about this. There was this girl on the flight that uh that kept looking my way, right? And I just thought like maybe like she was stretching her neck though, so I didn't think much of it. Yeah, crick. Huh? A crick, a crick in her neck. Yeah, it might have been. I, just I thought like, this nigga said she was a crip. I was like, I, was like, <laughs> I yeah, didn't see her yeah, throw yeah. it up, but I don't know, bro. Nah, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, G. Nah, G, not that. Hey, that's a weird question to ask. She's a crew. Nah. Uh, you know her? <laughs> nah. You know what I'm talking about, man? Girl thought I was a blood. I had all that red on. Who thought that? Some girl that was a blood. Had all that red on. I didn't look like one of them niggas. Did she, did she I put a drip on afterwards. I, I would play football. I was like, yo, not going to try me like this. I'm going to get right. Put that drip on. Came back out. Washed my face. Put a little essential oils on. Nigga was shining. Brushed my teeth yeah. with that 3D Crest White. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, John, digging it. John, John's ad game is spectacular. But then, <laughs> hey, but then that drink had me funny. I was just making straight jokes. So it was like a girl that had like a a, a cow bathing suit, right? So she walked past me. I was like, yo. I said, oh, she don't speak English. I started mooing. I said, moo. 
She told her, she said, who the fuck are you moving at? I said, you, because you don't know English. <laughs> she started laughing. She's like, I do, I do. You trying to get beat? I said, I'm going to milk you. <laughs> she started cracking up. I said, I'm going to milk you. <laughs> Stop playing. And then there was another, it was another oh one. Oh, my God. That was That's walking so right. She tried, to do, so she tried to do that same shit the first girl did before. But on that, on that drink, man, I was on it. And I was going, she was walking past, she walked past. She like, this is when like, I was, I was, no, wait, I was, I was in the room sleep. Mm-hmm. And I was doing all that shit. I don't know. This was that, this was that. Nah, that, that was I don't night. remember seeing all that move shit. That was when he was just getting rejected left and right. That was when you were asleep. Yeah. But off, no, that's off when the flight. Came back out. That was yeah, like bro. Seven or eight. So I threw on my headphones. I was listening to the Joe Rogan experience. First of all, wow, great podcast. And every time I stop listening to it and I re-listen to it, I, I get reminded how great that podcast is. And then when we were getting off the flight, like as if to not make it more obvious, bro, she just like had her Instagram out pointed directly at me, her screen unlocked while she was pretending to reach for her bag. She had a bag up there, bro. She was just looking up there. <laughs> just to show what the IG was. So then I so then I looked at the IG. It was private. So I was like, what the fuck? What was, what was the point of you? No, showing you. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. I get it. About? I wasn't going to follow her, though. So. He was, he was oh, in, no. I, I'm talking about. The, I wasn't going to follow her. He was her. in the airport. He was, he was in the was, I was in an airport. And oh, to yeah. the point where, like, because she kept looking. But then she just had her eye. Cause she, she was like this, pretending to look. She had her eyes. She was, she was like, ah. Looking for a bag that wasn't there, bro. I oh, swear to God. No, bro. I'm like. But once you hit a couple, like, after I hit four in a row, my confidence was just too high. I couldn't stop. I wasn't. We were just there to shoot videos. Though, no, so. I was just testing my luck. I was going to see oh, no, how I mean, many I could go. He, he was oh. there for different reasons. Bro. <laughs> what was I there for? Yeah, what were you there for? Just I don't have, know. It was just a surprise. No, <laughs> I didn't come. No, I mean, like, you were just there to have fun. Like, we, yeah. were, we, were, we were out there with the intention. Uh, I got like I'm four, since, I got four since, videos done. Since you, I'm not saying you didn't work, but I'm just uh, saying, yeah. But but so you know, it, 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 took, until, it took until somebody had to convince us. I think Willie had to convince us. Or maybe agent convinced me that like we can just record down there and do public interviews on Miami because Walid had asked us twice and we said no both times. And oh, then, bro! And then it was finally like, oh yeah, we could we could do some work down there. And then that's when we said yeah, because y'all niggas know for a fact. Walid is the worst salesman of all time. He let he led with yo, y'all want to go to Miami to have fun? I'm like niggas, no, I <laughs> no, you know I don't. Why would you ask me that question? No, I don't, nigga. I don't want to go to Miami to have fun, nigga. Like he'd be like, "Well, bro, it's gonna be so much fun, though." <laughs> it's gonna be, okay, it's gonna be so much fun, man. Nigga, he said that shit like I do fun in Atlanta. Like you ask me, do I want to go up the street to a hookah lounge in Atlanta? I'm not about to go do that shit in fucking in Miami, nigga. Yeah, the weather was spectacular. That's, the sun was, was so straight. bright, I couldn't keep my eyes open. It was, I'll y'all yeah, say this? It was beautiful, clear skies for sure. Niggas kept saying, like, it's going to be, like, slightly cloudy. I was like, I ain't see a cloud since I've been here, man. What are you one cloud, actually, at one point. That's our one cloud. That's uh, crazy. Nice nice weather. It's probably, like, the past, like, week is probably, not week, the past month, excuse me, it's probably the best time to go because it's not too hot. It's certainly not, not cold. Not too crowded. Not too crowded either. Not all rambunctious. It's um, quiet. What else? What else? Nice scenery. Yeah. I didn't I didn't get on the beach. So I don't know what the beach was like, but agents say it wasn't trash. Pretty oh, good. Pretty good. <laughs> We were a three minute walk from a beach and you never went at all. Your toes didn't touch the sand at all. My toes didn't touch the sand. Damn. But we, I mean, it was there to do the work. Sure, I, the only sure, time, sure. the only other time I would have got a chance to do it is when I was sleeping and y'all were playing football. You like, definitely could have pulled up, bro. That shit was good. I was sleeping though. That shit good. <laughs> we, we all, we were all awake though. Yeah. I know, but then when you were sleeping, I was driving around. Uh, so fine. we all slept. But you, but I went to the beach and you didn't though. That's the point. <laughs> oh no, I mean, but I didn't. I don't. I didn't mind me not going to the beach though. The point I'm making though is, um, yeah, well, beach went, was beach was looking good. You went to an island that's spammed with beaches. You went to went. Miami. You went to South Beach or where were we at? Miami no, Beach. Miami it beach. had a beach in the name wherever no, we was. Was it South Beach? South Beach is another beach. I'm pretty sure. No, it's all one long island. And it's yeah. called North Beach, Middle Beach, and South Beach. Uh, Are you sure? I'm positive. We that's were in. Not only we was in the Uber. Yeah. They do say it's one long beach, but you can just look on the map and it's one long okay. beach. Oh, yeah. word, word. So where oh, were we at? It was good. South, South Beach. <laughs> say less. We was in South Beach, and mm. uh, when we um when we went to like go get the um the footballs, that was North Beach. We had to get oh. off get on the highway and get back on the beach. That's word. North Beach. It's just, it, it was fun though. I think I may start doing public interview now. I just got used to just talking to people, but I really want to be just be mic'd up and just do like troll people. I went up this one like the group of people, right? So like it was like these. I mean, like, there's like three or four girls, they're taking pictures, right? So I just walk up, take the camera, and start taking taking the pictures with the, um, what's it called? 
like, yeah, yeah, I'm a professional photographer. I'm just ready for this. Oh, what's your name? I said, John Qua. Yeah, I'm from France. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga with an Atlanta accent. No, no, I switched it off. I switched it off. No, I started talking like Atlanta because when I was I was talking to the at the beach at the when I left the uh the sand, I was just talking proper. I had my business voice on. I was like, I was like, excuse me, excuse me. I said, I'm 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 too I'm too modest. When I got can, drunk, this nigga just said. Us? I said, excuse me. That's my business voice. No, that's my like. No, no you, listen, like I go like I go like um hey how you doing I'm John um. I'm here to apply for the job. That's hey, like that's my, your regular voice, bro. My, but John, this, let me, no. hey, John, let me tell you right now. That's how you talk I all know. the time, nigga. No, 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 no. <laughs> it is actually. No, not. John, it's not a difference from what you just said. Yeah, you talking about? No, it's, nah, nigga. Nah, nigga so, yeah, he, hey, 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 let me talk to you. Hey, 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 relax, 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 relax. Hey, hold on, hold that down, hold that down. So I talked like this. So I come with that like, yo, shut pull up right now. Right now, come here. Right now, put it on my phone. Right now. The worst thing is when the Atlanta nigga tries to talk Shut like an Atlanta up, man. nigga. Man, God, now you always talking too damn much, low. That's that's Shut the worst. Like when the, when the Atlanta talk, nigga hey, try to talk God like an Atlanta talking nigga, too, you be talking too damn much for no reason, low. What the hell you talking about? You sound, you sound exactly really, You're not really saying nothing, low. Really, for real though. Real, real talk, real talk. I just want to let you know. Don't call what your. What you trying to let me know though? Don't don't call your regular voice your business voice. That's, <laughs> that's all. Got no, that, that's all I'm that's, saying. That, that's that. Don't, don't try to like that, you put on, you put on a that facade right there. That because I'm in Miami, so it's like hey, you made it sound like you just applied an accent. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he <laughs> tries. <laughs> <laughs> Hey John, you or, like you or, tried your hardest to like, try to sound like somebody or, else, and you still sound like John. <laughs> or I go like I do this voice sometimes. I could talk like this sometimes. No, nigga, I like this voice sometimes. Well, what is that voice though? Um, it, it really just depends how I'm feeling how, when I talk like this. Um, there were enough weird people in Miami. Actually, I thought I was yes, there was. Yes, there was. Bro, no, 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 no. no, no. You were sleep. I thought it was more. You were asleep, bro. I got. <laughs> bro, I bumped into weird people. It was man. a nigga in the ocean with a with, with a blue button up khakis in the water doing uh Mr. Miyagi moves. Then he goes rinse off his whole suit. Like you know, oh, you know, like yeah, that's, that's no that's nigga. Beautiful. And then niggas doing those stuff. So we joned him from a distance. He come back, and then he gets you know like the little you know like the little thing where you rinse your feet off of the shower thing. Yeah. So he has all his clothes on, just rinsing off with all his clothes on. I only saw t- like three weird people. Hmm? I only saw three like truly weird people. Uh, I seen was, more weird people. I can't remember. That's the, the that's the dude that left that stood with me. I said, that's the dude that's still with me. That's the only like weird person I can Wait, who, really who, remember. Who? The dude with the blue, the like uh, the, the, uh blend. Now, there was, I, I interviewed plenty the, of weird people, bro. The, the, I interviewed people where I was like, where are you from? They said and they said things like outer space. And I looked at their shirt <laughs> and it was a picture of outer space. And I was like, what drugs are you on? And they're say, like, we're sober. Space. So that's weird. They that's, kept all they kept That's weird if you're oh, sober. They kept selling gas like it was legal. And they just kept walking past you. Gas, gas, it's gas. Gonna be, it's gonna be legal soon though. The only weird I saw the, the I don't, the cops not gonna get but no they, I'm talking they, about they just the advertising pirate. like like I'm, I couldn't be undercover twelve like like I could have locked up a lot of niggas <laughs> <They're not>. <laughs> like, <laughs> like like if I was twelve I could have locked up a lot of niggas talking about runs 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 I'm like nigga what niggas like are just just back and forth just I was just about to buy a pack of swishers to start trying to sell them some swishers I was that's, about to to sell so you. that's crazy that it's it's so common that they just sell. Which is, but honestly, I thought it would have smelled sh- like weed down there way more too. They and were. They had, they had little ladies like at Six Flags with the little things around. Yeah, there. I know. Selling, selling, uh, backwoods, all yeah. the leaf cigars yeah, and stuff like that. Man, they just but walking it, it didn't smell like like weed is like I thought it was either. There's parts of Atlanta that smell more more like weed than that in, in, on that strip. Yeah, people don't care here at all. Which is so weird. I bro. mean, maybe because on the be- maybe it's more windy because it's on the beach, so the smell maybe flows a little bit better. If anything, maybe I should smell it nonstop. Yeah, and it really wasn't that windy. It wasn't that windy. Yeah, it, wasn't. it wasn't windy, bro. It, it wasn't. wasn't no, it wasn't that windy at all. Uh, my brakes were moving. Your what? My brakes were moving. Your brakes? My brakes. Oh, I guess. Yeah. In, in the wind. I might explain the inaccurate tosses at QB. No, at first, because you gotta know, get adjusted. You know what I'm saying? You gotta. Uh, and if the wind was blowing, and I was on sand. And I'm thinking, if you was on land, some of those catches you could have caught, but you're like it was just like right a little bit off. Like you couldn't get that extra burst of speed, so it might have been, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. And yeah, the space was small. Of course, the space was small. It was small. Yeah, it was small. You know what I'm saying? So you put all those two together. The beaches were like real we, small. There. Did we lose? Yeah, the whole beach small. Did we lose? <laughs> no, we won. Okay. You know the but whole beach was small. Yeah. Okay. It's a pretty small beach. I but no, say. the space we were playing in was 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 like maybe the size of a basketball court. 
Yeah, it was. No, no, it was a little bit bigger than that. Where, where, where were y'all playing at? Uh, on the beach. So the beach was small? I mean, <laughs> well, in the area we was playing in. Because the other part, it was too many rocks and stuff. So we went on one side. You know, you'll, you'll see on Patreon. I'm I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie. The, the, the one thing that was like, I was crazy impressed with was the those houses on the water. Hmm? Well, wow. yeah, you weren't with us. It was me, Sneeko, Caleb, and... Oh, who was in that? Adrian. We was in that foreign, man. We was in that, I know, was in that foreign, on. man. Oh, yeah, you missed. It was way more um, Ferraris and, and Lambos that went right before we left. That was driving around. Oh, I bet it, it was. was man. Foreign, I bet they were those weekend cars. Or I thought about maybe it's just like the people who really got money who live down there just came down there. Maybe. But then again, why would you do that? Yeah. Yeah, never mind. Yeah. I'm not gonna leave my mansion on the water to go to a beach <laughs> <laughs> that everyone else can go yeah, to. Everybody else can just touch. I got my own one. But that right there was like, like the that shit was actually mad impressive. I was like, yo, niggas living like this. Word. Niggas, niggas really. You had to like pass by like security to get in there. Oh, and I had the best gelato. I didn't have any good food there. <laughs> it's just so. Yeah, sad. that was also. Crazy too, and you know I, you and know, I wanted I to go to Lick, I wanted to go to Lickin, and I couldn't. We couldn't go. Yeah, I couldn't go. Yeah, I heard about that. All I had was cheeseburgers. I don't, and I was I I don't know why you did that. Why would you go to another place to eat some shit that you were eating in Atlanta? I know that's crazy, right? I don't know why I just kept <laughs> eating cheeseburgers. The only the only thing I had different was bacon, bitch. That's so I had crazy, dog. I it had the options like. I guess I'm going with a burger again. <laughs> <laughs> burger for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, man. I just had straight burgers. Uh, but uh, seeing John order burgers is wild. Like, man, what are you doing? <laughs> you know the best, the best burger and the cheapest burger was at the strip club. The burger there was seven eighty five for a burger and fries. Everybody else was twenty or more, just for a burger. Well, we well, well at the beach is is a bunch of it's a tourist place, so they they upsell it like a lot. Yeah, every every uh, every everywhere I went to get a burger, the other three places it was twenty or more. For yeah, burger yeah. and fries, but the strip club wasn't. They have something. Nevertheless, though, um, yeah, it was it was a nice trip. Uh, if y'all if y'all got if y'all want to really get into it, uh, y'all gotta you gotta not only watch a video that we gonna upload on pay on playback, which really gonna be about two videos, no cap. Yeah, it was a lot of content. Yeah, no cap, a lot of content. But then if you want to get the exclusive shit, you gonna have to go to Patreon, bro. Why are you looking at me you like that? Have, I'm just saying because you okay. know what happened. You know what happened. You know we was recording. Oh yeah, there was some people with like titties out. Like we can't post that on YouTube. Oh yeah, there was a lot of ass shaking. A lot of it uh, that can't go up on YouTube. A lot of stuff. Yeah, I wasn't even asking for nobody to shake their ass. They were just like volunteering their ass. I, I, I asked them a question, and then their answer would be them twerking. I swear Bro, to God, I smacked <laughs> so much. Let me stop. Wait, what you say? No. Hmm? What were you saying? What was that? No. John, no, no, I feel no. Like finish John, what you were saying. No, John, you started saying you had your no, business. I was saying, you had your business. I was, I was business saying I smacked my face so much because I was just getting rejected so much. So I just realized I just want to enjoy the beach. Why do you act like you're in a committed relationship? Huh? <laughs> why do you act like you're in a committed relationship? What are you talking about? Why do you act like you're in a committed relationship? What are you, why, what are you, what are you saying? Are you in a relationship? What are you talking about? I was a setup. That's what I'm saying. No, I'm saying why do you act like you're in a committed relationship? I don't get it. Why are we still on this? We talking about what are we talking about? We talking about the strip clubs. You were talking about him. Yeah, it was fun. But then when it came to you smacking your face and ass, so why you switch it up? What's up? Smacking my face. You mean at the strip club? Huh? Come again? Putting your face and ass at a strip club is the nastiest Nastiest shit. thing ever. That is so nasty. Is it any less nasty to do it at a beach? I mean, it's nasty anywhere. I'm about to say, really just nasty, nasty regardless. Anywhere. But like putting your ass in, you're Put putting your face and ass <laughs> and sweating all, all the time and like... Yeah. She just shook her ass on seven other niggas. Oh, you know the... And now your face is in the same area where another nigga crotch is at? You know something crazy? I never thought about it like that. I got a... I got a <laughs> mas- I got a massage at the strip club while eating my burger from a professional MMA fighter girl stripper. What? That's a, that's a crazy resume. That's crazy. <laughs> she was a professional MMA fighter, now she's a stripper? Yeah. That's a fall off. No, I'm no 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 no. My bad, my bad, my bad, my bad. Maybe she's not financially. She's not a. She's not a, yeah, she's not a professional <laughs> MMA fighter. She just she's an MMA fighter. I don't know if she's professional or not, but she's a she's an MMA fighter. Mm, so she just strips and give massages until the bills get paid. And then if niggas don't throw it, if I guess they she catch them outside and whoop their ass or put them like in a massive <laughs> chokehold or leg lock. Better tip. Yeah. <laughs> 
I said 25 and Dash gave me 24. <laughs> Breaks Put, his leg. Yo, yo, yo. You know when that massage is going to turn into a head like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put, give the nigga the massage and that shit turn into a, le- a head like, lock. You thought, you thought, nigga. Yeah. You thought you had took this No, no, shit, her man. hands were strong, though. I didn't know until after. She was like, like, uh, this, uh, one of the girl, but the, the people we came with was like, they knew her because they, they were the bottle girl. <laughs> I hate John, at, bro. At another bro. spot. I really hate him, man. So the bottle girl, she was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So she was like, yeah, go over here. John is right. so <laughs> dumb shit. I hate him, bro. Just don't even I talk really about it, John. Him, just don't talk about it, John. <laughs> just, uh, don't, just don't no, talk no, no. about it, John. No, but she was like, yeah, it made sense. So she put it there. She started getting deep in the tissue. I was like, okay. And then in my head, I'm like, damn, this girl's strong as fuck. But I'm like, maybe she just put her all into it. Maybe, maybe she just give it everything she got. Maybe she's trying to get some money out of me. I don't know what she's up. She's going hard. I look up. She said, "You good?" I said, "Yeah." I'm looking at her. I'm like, she is a lot kind of strong. And she's like, "Yeah, she's an MMA fighter." I said, "That explains a lot." Wait, she, I mean, she was clearly trying to get money out of you. You had to pay her. Hmm? You had to pay her to get you a massage. No. No. You didn't. Didn't. Didn't the, didn't hey, the person. John. Didn't the person you was with pay? No. John, let's not even talk about this. <laughs> let's just not talk. John, about you this. let her give you a massage, bro. You didn't give her no money. No, but the person who who was who you was with didn't one of them pay. No, they were the person that we was with. Was let's a, not just let's not the person. Let's, let's just not let's just, just let's just not because this is yeah, I'm not gonna I ain't, the gonna, I ain't was, gonna talk about a nigga who's not here. Huh? I'm not gonna talk about. No, the I think the person was with the the person was with. Was a bottle girl at another top strip club. Baby. I'm not talking about that person. I'm talking about the other person. Oh, so she was plugged? Yeah, she was plugged. So oh, all the girls know her. Oh, okay. oh I see what you're saying. So you're all saying. the girls came up giving her hugs and everything. She was like, oh, who's your friend? You know what I'm saying? She being, like a pimp. Being the Ibaka number nine I was at the time. <laughs> she was like, they just kept looking. Yeah, we need to make that into a verb, yo. I yeah. swear. Being the Ibaka. Is Ibaka's number nine? I, I don't know if it is anymore. Oh, Check. being the Abaka, I was just sitting there chilling, eating that cheeseburger. Just going there. She was like, "Yeah, she was like one of the massage girls." So they have they have strippers, they have dancers, they have massage girls that just like give massages. So she was like, "Yeah, these are my friends that new to Miami." I was like, "Yeah, it's my first time here." She yeah, got up and started nine. smiling. She got up, started smiling, came over here. I was like, "What you doing?" She walked behind me. I, I, I was kind of confused. Not John. Yeah. How often do you go to the strip clubs in Atlanta? Not that often. Maybe a few times. How many have you been to? Uh, three. Which ones? Uh, Wax, Blue Ace Fame, of Ace of Spades. Oh, you've been to two? I uh, like two of them are like some of the worst in the, in the city. <laughs> yes, Probably. Sir. And you know, what I, was, I, I was gonna ask you how to compare them, but you yeah. gonna, you you might say the ones in Florida. Oh, I mean, or Miami. Uh oh, the nigga. You know, so crazy. When when we was in the Uber and he said, "Oh yeah, King of Diamonds is nice. It's a nice club. That shit is closed. King of Diamonds been closed for years." <laughs> and he was just talking. Oh, uh, I don't know. King of King of I Diamonds. I told the dude that low with my dad. Oh yeah, he <laughs> believe you. He was trolling the Uber driver. I was so I was like I was like I was like thanks dad for bringing me out here. <laughs> Next time, um, we, dude, got, we gotta go to the the office because I've heard plenty of people talk about the office. Yeah, that's what we gonna go to. Yeah. I mean, like I was there because it was like it's like because I didn't I, I didn't I didn't plan on going to the strip club. Cause I didn't plan on throwing no money, so I was just like, I'm just going out just tonight. I said I get some food, chill out, just enjoy the vibes. But I know somebody else wanted to go and throw money. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't gonna just sit at the hotel. So I was like, yeah, go ahead. Me and us, uh, I think. Somebody else is with me too. Nigga, <laughs> John, just don't talk about it, bro. Cause, uh, Cause you're gonna slip up and say the nigga's name. Just don't even say no, it. No, no, no. I can't say the other nigga name either. <laughs> hey, bro, you said but. Never mind. You got it. Hmm? Never mind. Just don't say the dude. Never mind. You can't bro. say no. This can't say no. Y'all just making it worse by making it seem like it's so bigger almost than what it is. You almost said his name. You, you, you slipped up. And then you didn't slip up. I didn't up. say nobody's name. I said you almost did. You almost said the nigga name. No, you keep making it seem like I almost said it. But I didn't. And now they're going to keep replaying this back, trying to see who I'm thinking I'm saying. <laughs> anyway, um, man, yeah, it, was, it, was, it was great. It was a great trip. Great was, trip. Was, great content. Great content. He was out there working. Out there working. Dog, dog, we working. Word, dog. Dog. Some people was having fun. Some people was working. Some people did a mix. Shit. You know what I'm saying? I like yeah. my drinks mixed. It was on point. Tired as hell. 
Where are we going? Point. Miami, Miami. Next time though, when I go, I want to. I want to also go in the city of Miami. I don't want to just go to. Now I know what to expect. It was my first time there, so I don't even know what to expect. But I didn't know how uh, what's the calls out there too. I didn't know how strip clubs were out there are different from Atlanta, Atlanta's, but they're more lenient at the in Miami than they are at the top strip clubs. Like in what's it called? What they're more lenient of, to do what? Anything. I don't. I don't. I didn't know that either. Like I was like, I don't like. You know what, nigga? Strip club etiquette. You don't go to the strip club to, to know what's lean or not. Like what? So what's what? What can you what can't you do at Magic City? Oh, uh, Magic City's different because there's no private room in Magic City. That's not, that's, but what can you do on the floor? You almost do anything on the floor. You, almost anything. You can oh. insert. <laughs> okay, definitely not, bro. No, you can insert there. Were you in, can the, do, in on the floor? On the floor. Can you get motorboats? What do you yeah. mean by insert? Hold on. <laughs> yeah, you can do motorboats. You go fuck. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm assuming when you say no, insert, no. dog. No, I'm talking about like, hands. Can you imagine you just walking? You yeah, because I was, like, bro. I, was, I was there and, and um, one of the what does insert came mean, up, John? Um, and she was like, she's like, Wait, yeah. hey, what does insert mean? You, you, Fingers, just, like hand. On the on the on the floor. On the, on the floor. You can touch guess. her. Yes. But you, we can, you we've been to yeah, strip club. I guess I guess it I guess it depends. You can do that here. Uh, yeah, I, I guess it depends. What is that fuck with you or not. If I touch, no, he's talking about he's talking about his. You talking about the inserting your fingers? Yes, you could insert. You could insert. Oh, dead ass. You can you can do whatever you want. However, you can do that here, but I don't know of a place you can do that on the floor. Though. I don't know why you'd want to neither, but I don't know. Either. Yeah, all right. No, cause I was. But I was, here, here you can do that too. Okay. You can this place here where you can fuck. Like I don't like. I don't yeah, care. yeah, I know. Yeah. So I don't but, understand what you're saying. You, it's more lenient. Like no, I didn't. What know. more lean? That was it. What more lenient do you need? Nigga? I didn't. I didn't know. Like because I don't go that much. So I'm thinking like because I, I used to watch movies. I thought you couldn't touch strippers. I thought you could throw money and stuff like that. In, in, so I didn't know. In, in Atlanta, it's not only can you touch. It's it's way more common here to touch and they be completely naked than a lot of other places. Yeah, because a, a stripper called me out. She said I want smacking it hard enough. I said, What do you want me to leave a hand mark? I caught back, smacked that shit hard. Yeah. <laughs> she turned around, stopped dancing. I smacked that shit. I was like, oh, yeah? Harder? <laughs> what? Yeah. Because I was, I, was, I was trying to be generous, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm not no weak dude. She was like, oh. I don't think that's what you meant, bro. Like, I when, I, when, I went, when I went with uh, Aim and Low yeah. for the first time, <clears throat> like, she was, like, confused. Like, why isn't he touching? So she literally yeah. took my hand and then put it on that's her what I did. That's what I was like. Cause I, was, I was, like, I was hesitant because I didn't know. It's like, come, what are you doing? Come on, come on. Yeah. That's, like, what that's, that's, that's what I'm saying. When you're saying you don't know, you don't know it's, if it's more lean or not. I'm like, but you don't go to enough strip clubs and know what you can or can't do in Atlanta. You can oh. do anything in Atlanta too. Anything in Atlanta. Uh, so, what do you think as a strip club veteran? It was uh, mid. Mid? Yeah, it was mid. All of them? I only went to two. I didn't go to all. Oh. <laughs> what the hell? Oh, niggas, yeah. You niggas said I went on tour, nigga. What are you talking about? <laughs> it was, it was, it was. It was <laughs> Legend of winning yeah, the strip like, tour. Man, no. it was, the strip tour, man. Was, you see him coming with a clipboard. It was mid. The only rubric. Thing I, only thing I'll say is that it was. It felt like I was in a movie. Way, huh? I felt like I was in a movie. The vibe yeah, was nice. The vibe, the vibe it was eventful it was eventful but the actual action event itself no it's, it's it was nowhere near as it was one it was it. one white girl spent on that pole like sonic the hedgehog <laughs> gave me a headache <laughs> she, was, she was flying just like <laughs> pew, pew, pew. i'm like god it just, it just yeah it, it just wasn't it just wasn't eventful and the thing is in atlanta there's places like that too like you go to the pink pony it's like that it's it's oh, that's still open yeah they just moved it to another location uh, that was the first time i seen a girl just go from the uh ceiling like climb the pole all and the way up. Pony? No, like in, in Miami. You know, like, like, cause I ain't even seen nobody hey, pole. I'm told it's trash strip club. The, this nigga saw it. Dude, we, I don't know if somebody went all the way to the top. No, yes, she went all the way to the top, upside down, and came straight down her head. In her head? <laughs> yes. But she caught us up before she hit the thing, right? It didn't look like it, but she got <laughs> up. I was, I was like, that's some talent right there. <laughs> she oh, went all up shit. and came down. I'll say this: it's it's just it's just more eventful though. I can I can see how it could be a thing to do because it's just more eventful. But that like the way that everything up, it makes it more like an event to go. But the actual act of stripping 
in the act of like what they do on the on the stage. It's not. It just yeah. The diversity wasn't, wasn't there either. Like their bodies weren't really nothing. No, but okay. So to. that's a, what I heard is that the one that y'all went and then the one that I went to. Yeah. It was like a very white and Cuban vibe. We went to one more called Cheetah too, and that was I don't know what that was Cuban. That, that look, it, it felt a little more like Atlanta. It was like more Cuban was Atlanta. No, it was called Cheetah, and it had like more like Dominican girls. They had a couple black girls. It's not Atlanta. Atlanta, mo- mo- no, most, I'm saying uh, the Bob did the way oh, the strippers okay, okay, mentality. They had more booty. Like, so, from my understanding, the office is like more like Atlanta. Atlanta, yeah. yeah. It happened twice actually when we was on the beach and when we got done eating at the spot. What, this morning. what, are, you ta- what are you talking about? Yeah, what are you talking about? Right I don't, now, don't do nothing. What are you talking about? You weren't with us. Yes, you weren't with I'm us. I'm saying, both what time. are you talking about in your content? The amount of people that I saw who were on Miami and either had a camera and weren't actually recording anything, I was like, what are y'all niggas doing right now? Just holding it. Huh? Just holding it. They think it's just a camera bring attention. No, but it was like, we was walk, going up and down. I, it's the same nigga I kept seeing over and over again. Wait, what do you have? With like, the camera. Like dreads? Kind of tall? No, he was a tall. He was tall. I don't know if he had dressed, but he was tall, yeah. He had a white tee on? Yep. Dark skin? Yep. Yep. Oh, yeah, I didn't see him walking up and down. He was doing videos before. Like, he was doing public interviews. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But, yeah, I seen him I was doing like, a couple nigga, of why? I've, I've seen you, like, literally, like, 20, 30 minutes, and you yeah. just walking up and down with no camera. I saw someone shooting episode 49 of the Diamond Tester video. Oh, yeah. That's and great. I got started going, dee, 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 dee. I was like, oh, finally, someone got some real shit. Great. <laughs> great. I but saw a lot of them taking it off before they headed into the ocean. It's your boy, John. Yeah, today, we're back with episode well, we, 76 of Testing Diamonds. <laughs> 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 well, remember, remember when we um when we left to go, we got something to eat this morning. Well, you didn't eat nothing, but it was us. We got something to eat this morning. Mm-hmm. And we were we were walking off. We like walking from the place, and there was like these dudes who said they know B-Lou. No. Oh, B-Lou was there? <laughs> No, somebody who knows Bilu. Oh, someone told me that. I don't remember that. You were in the group. You were in the group with us, and they were telling us that. And then they were, we were all networking, and he had a camera. He wasn't vlogging. And he ran into other YouTubers. Still didn't capture that. We were talking. Still didn't open his camera. To do that. And then as we're networking, and then he's like, no, noticing who we all are. He's like, oh, whoa, what? I gotta catch y'all later. He just ran off because a girl passed by. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck? Like, that's such a like you, you know what? I, you know what I realized on the trip, bro? I realized that if I wanted to be a whore, like y'all cons- would make it so easy for me. I swear <laughs> to God, bro, because it was so many times where like a fan would pull up, and like I was paying attention to my surroundings just to, you know to get the vibe of people in mm-hmm. Miami. There's a lot of diversity, you know. What I'm saying mm-hmm. so, I just want to know, and the amount of looks I would get after a fan would pull up. And it happened everywhere on the street. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. After yeah. I yeah. ate, like it was happening everywhere. So, like, yeah. every time a fan would pull up, I just look around and everyone kept just staring. Now, like, why is when we, why are people taking photos when, of him? When we, what does he do? No cat. When we got, when we left, when we got the, when we eat, we ate, and a nigga dead ass was in the middle of the road and got out of his car to say what's up to agent, right? Mm-hmm. After um, they took a picture with each other, even I looked around. And literally, the whole fucking strip just stopped and was staring at this nigga. So I was saying, Bro. like, if I wanted to be a whore, I could, at that point, Is that- any number I wanted to get was the easiest love of all time. No, it's, it, it's like when you go out, man, it was, right. I, I was, I'm not going to say nothing. I swear. I swear. Every, matter of fact, no. it, was, it was people, it was an older lady yelling out of her car, like, oh, he famous, he famous. Yep. I was like, nigga, what the fuck is y'all niggas? Because you know, Gooding Jr. is rollerblading around dude. here somewhere. What y'all niggas doing right now? Yeah, he was rollerblading. He, he was getting no saying. attention. He was. He was. No and, attention. And then Flo no, Rider came down on the scooter. And no attention. No attention. Just Flo, just Flo Rider. But well, I mean, he ain't had a hit nigga, since 97. What, what? Yeah, no. Nah, he, has some, he has some hot shit in about When, when Apple Bottom Jeans dropped, 01? I think it was, what? No. But I was like, 06. He's joking. He's joking. Oh. I'm, I'm going to be Jerry um, um, but yeah, after, after this nigga bust down on this nigga in the middle of the high, middle of the street, and then everybody just stopped. And even I looked around, I was like, "There's a lot of niggas just looking at this nigga bro, right now." Yeah, man, A and P could have got me a lot of pussy. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I've been hearing a lot of A and P shit too. Yeah, cause I'm dude boosted me in front of this girl, so I'm sitting down and we was at like like a little tiki lounge, right? So we just talked. I met her like we were doing like a puppy envy. I met her. And on like the uh, strip, but she was just cool. It's just like a casual. She's like, "Yeah, we're here." So me, a couple, uh, me, two other people, we pulled up just to check it out, see how it looked. It wasn't that lit. It was straight vibes. We got down, sit down. He's like, "No way, no." 
I said, <laughs> I said, no. No. He said, no. And he had a camera too. So he was a YouTube. He was small on YouTube. He's like, no. You be wearing pee. And the girl's looking around like, what? Like, bro, that's him. That's you him. Know what, you know what I realized? Keep going, actually. I don't know. They're like, bro, that's him. That's him. They're like, oh my gosh. Like, you did I said, nah, nah. So it's not even like that. It's, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. We're quiet. It's quiet. John trying to be modest as well. It's modest, yeah. It's not even like that. She's like, no, bro. Keep doing it. And then we just, we just left after that. Yeah. Hard. She texted me. Where you at? And it's like, you would think, like, it's everywhere, though. Like, when we, when we, all Star Rica was here and we went to the strip club. It was everywhere there too. It's not because I, I used to get noticed all the time in basketball areas, like at a, like at a Foot Locker. You know, that's my crowd. Oh. Is at a Foot Locker? Yeah, yeah at I, a basketball I, game. Yeah. Like I, but it's like now it's like I can go anywhere, and it's like you know, so I could just walk at a mall, and that's like a lot of people. I don't. Know but you have you ever got looks like that though? What do you mean? Like when we were when we got done eating, a nigga stopped you in the middle of the street. Yeah, I just don't go outside enough, but it happens. That's what I'm saying. I haven't put yeah. a no, 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 I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about after you got done taking a picture and you looked around and everybody was looking a- in your direction. Yeah, yeah I could be a whore. Mm. It'd be the yeah. easiest thing for me to be a whore. <clears throat> I did good. I'm not really outside, like outside a lot, but since I've been going more like to more like public places. Like I go to like like lounges and stuff this like that. Nigga wants to be a homebody so bad. No, I'm, <laughs> this is I'm, this is this is second time referencing. I don't really go outside. Like, no, outside, outside. I don't, I don't go no, outside, outside. no, I don't be outside. Like we're like large group. I will be like go to certain spots and like certain spots have different crowds. Like I've been, I've been. He's talking to two homebodies. And I might be king homebody out of all of our friends, and you gonna say that I don't go outside. outside I didn't like say I was that. a homebody. I just like you did, this- nigga. You didn't say on this podcast, but <laughs> earlier today, hey. nigga, you said you was a homebody, like- and then you redefined what the fucking word homebody meant, nigga. Yeah, do it. I, I changed the meaning. <laughs> no, nigga. <laughs> I just gave it a new meaning. The Urban Dictionary meaning. He's That's like, not the urban dick. Um, nigga, he said, I don't really leave home. I was like, no, but I, when it's I said like, like big events, I'm talking Atlanta, about like, I don't really like leave malls, hometown. carnivals, like malls, con- like places like, uh, where else? Really, that, really, that's pretty much pretty much it. I mean, I didn't you think- You you don't go to malls and carnivals? No, not that much. Not that much. I've only been in, if I go to Lynx, I go in and get what I need and go out. I don't just like walk around. Lynx is not even an option to me, no cap. Or Cumberland. I've been in Cumberland a minute. I normally online shop. Yeah, they I just go, have a shoot in there, like last week. Which one, Cumberland or Linux? Cumberland. That's tough. Yeah, yeah I remember when he goes. I last week. I just shop online, but but now you go <laughs> out. I shop online. I just shop online. <laughs> I only go to my. Cause I mean, it's not no, that real drip. He's not. That's the thing. That's the thing. Not, like people, that's, that's the biggest reason why I don't like. Shopping I don't go to the mall because I realized that in high school, like seeing you, like niggas, like wearing the same shit, like. The thing I buy on the shelf is 13 in stock. So, so it's going to be 13 I niggas in the area look like me. When, when all of us were posted outside the hotel, I remember there was a car that drove by. And it was a bunch of females. And one of them yelled, oh, those are the guys with money. They they just screamed it out loud. And I thought to myself, like, how do people determine, like, what does what does someone's appearance have to look like before you think, like. But the, you know what the truth? I know you know the truth. but The, the surge truth, effect. We huh? have that surge effect. Oh, the surge effect. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> but, the, but the truth is. Uh, with uh, with like now that I'm smarter and older, and to the, my my youngin word of mouth people out there, it's oh, I thought really, you about to say me. You saying, no, but you, but you, you, I think you know this too, though. You saying they're not smart? No, I'm about to say y'all, y'all about to y'all put y'all in game. What's crazy is normally the people who don't flex are the people who actually have the money. True. And I was looking around, and I was just seeing like middle aged men. I was like, I can tell that nigga got money. I can just tell he has money. Or I can just see very, like, like humble men just walking around. I was like, yep, he got money, too. Like, the way that they were just, like, walking and, talk, and talking and, like, holding themselves. They was but talking like, like my, my high talk. No, not your business voice, because yeah. that's, just, that's just a John voice. Yeah. Um, no, it's like, it's like. But that's like, people with money know that, though. Yeah. People but without that, but money that's don't what, know that. But that's what I'm saying. I'm trying, to put them, I'm trying to put them on game. When you go out there and you flex like that, I already know for a fact you spent a good portion of the amount of money that you have this loosely on that fake chain. And I know it's fake. Either, either I know that shit is fake. Either you don't have a lot of money or you scammed the money. You didn't get the money. Like you didn't work hard for that money. It kind of like got, you got quick money. So you spent it's on not that. really a lot of money though. That's the thing. It's not. That's what I'm saying. It's not really. A, and, and going to places like Miami or even Linux uh, with, or Bro, Phil, uh, Phillips Plaza the, to to try to play around with people who really got money when they really out there 
to that to me, that's, that's the wildest thing. That's what I want. Just, just want. go, just go to Cumberland and try to flex like that. But going to Phipps Plaza or, or Linux or, or Miami, trying to flex like you got money with is legit people with legit money out you know, there. That's the you know craziest realize, thing. <clears throat> it's like I saw so many Ghiblies and ghosts that I was like, ghost. What's a ghost? A ghost Fanny. is like, uh, like the I don't want to say cheap, but it's like it's not the expensive Rolls Royces. Oh, so I saw a lot of I saw, I saw a lot a of like base. Was hard. You seen that? That one? was a they real, look that was, they that look was good, but they're not a phantom though. Oh, that was, like, oh, no, 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 the purple one's a phantom. You I saw one today. Those are scary. Those it was like you hard. from the outside, you know, like it oh, was he, two player. It was like a it was like a it was like yeah. your shirt purple, but like the only, like the only the only two phantoms there was it was that one and it was a black phantom, and those are the only two. The other ones were just ghosts with the top back and everybody just riding around in it. No, but there was only two of them. But it's like it's like I saw so many base level. Luxury cars. I was like, why are people getting those? Like, if you're gonna get a Lamborghini, get the Aventador. Don't get the Huracan. If you're like, it's just, and it's like, I get wanting to have the prestige of having that luxurious thing, but at what cost, though, man? Yeah, stop showing, stop throwing shots at Sneeko, dog. Come on, dog. Hmm? Oh, <laughs> stop, stop throwing shots at Sneeko. <laughs> no, I mean, nah, I, he came in to get me, but that's like he just didn't know, though. But he said, they said he wanted, he wanted that. He, he just wanted, wanted something. That. He wanted that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. No, if he went inside it before he got it, he would have not wanted it. No, but he <laughs> sat there and said he just wanted an Italian car, man. He wanted a foreign. And he needs to get himself a mini. Yeah, right? he said next time you don't get a McLaren. Or he pointed at it. It was a McLaren. I told him what it was. Hey, at the end of the day, he the point I'm making he is He's stop, not old enough. Stop, stop to get a McLaren. Stop. Yeah, you need to be 25 to rent those types. Oh, just stop! Just stop flexing. I just don't understand. I don't, I don't understand the purpose of flexing to get girls. at a place. I know it's. A, I know what. I know the purpose, but don't flex at a place where there's people with legit money there because you look crazy. Because to with the people who have legit money, they look at you as fools. Yeah, Yo, there was a there's a group of people I interviewed. It was like eight of them, and like unprompted, they were like showing off like twenty dollar bills. Twenty, and so I was like, like, you'll see it in the video. I squinted just to verify. Like, are they flexing twenties? Twenty, and I saw like in the mix there were fives. <laughs> but yeah, nah. it's like, so then they and all then started pulling the, out cash, and, and then he like, had the audacity to be like, "No, nah, but this is light, though." I'm like, "No, it's not, nigga." I see. I was behind. I was like, heavy. "I see your bag. It's damn near empty right now." As you pull, I get. Out. I get like yeah, it's I a see. cool thing to do to get money, but. But at they're the not same. actually getting that much it's, money. That's the point I'm making. Like coming from my point of view, it's good to be around niggas that have money for real because you just see their mentality. So you just take that mentality and move. Cause like watching how y'all move and y'all have real money is like how I know how I don't to go even and think move. I have real money though. I don't compared to most people. Compared to most people, maybe but I don't age, even yeah. I don't even but that's the that's the that's the different yeah. mindset though. Cause I'm not talking about older that has like a you know what I'm saying, a doctor or like somebody that does like pre man oh, no doctors though. Nah, Depends you, on the doctor. So you just being yeah, humble yeah. now. See you just you just being humble. No, but, but what I'm talking about, <laughs> <laughs> throwing, we don't make real but money. No, but, but, uh, no, 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 I make more than a neurosurgeon. Yeah. But no. Go ahead, what you saying? <laughs> Definitely more than a neurosurgeon. Yeah, no, yeah. but I'm talking about like when I say money, I'm talking about niggas who like money. Man, I'm talking about niggas who can like not never have to work a day in their life and still make millions of dollars but, each year. Oh, you talking about multi million? Oh, oh, those type of people. That's what but I'm it's all relative about. though. Like no yeah. matter how much money you have, you're not going to think like yeah. there's always leagues. Of, you're not going to reach Elon just, Musk. But status. I also think that we're just different though. I just want to get my game. I'm gonna get my game up without the one before, like because I, I see people like get a car. I'm thinking about it. I'm like, if this car would get the girls, if I don't have this car, I won't be able to get the girls. So I need to figure out how to get the girls out of the car. That way, they just try to figure out the quickest way to just get. The I get girls. it. If you want to be a whore, then having money is like very useful. But if you want genuine people around you, then you need to not show people that you have money because you because you you get you reach a point where like you get tired of like that's people's motive. True, and it's like even if you could, even if you can or can't sniff it out, it's really irrelevant. It's the fact that people see that, and then now you won't know how genuine anything that comes from them is. And it's like if you want that fake shit around you and that you want that toxic environment, then you could have it, um, and you could just be a whore volume. Everybody, your friends could just be with you because you got money. The girls will fuck with you because you got money. Exactly. Like there was there was a girl I was talking to um, in an interview. Yeah, this talking me was gonna be a banger, and I was she was cool, she was cool, but I was like, um, I we got to the topic of penis size, right? And I and I <laughs> <laughs> that and one it, left. No, I think I asked her like, how long before you uh, you start using? She a said, condom? how long? I said, how long before you start using a condom? Oh, and then she said, depends on his dick size, and then I said six inches, and she said, does he have money? So it's like I was like, damn, because you. 
what what difference now, what, should what that make to the that? person though? Like because she, she's that's like, that's, that's like she'll she's rather so, that's actually like so fucking in her head. She she'd rather that. if if she take the chance of getting impregnated, she rather get impregnated by a rich nigga than getting impregnated yeah. by a broke nigga. That's what she said. The money matters. But it's like, but she she ended off that interview by saying when I asked her to rate herself, she said like I'm a one. I'm like what? And she's like, because I'm from the streets. She started twerking. So, so like like she didn't give a fuck. She was clearly just there to have fun, which is fine. Yeah. But it's like I wouldn't want that around me. Personally, because I feel like I just have too much going for myself to have that kind of energy. And it's like, I get there's some people that can manage that. I just feel like that would bleed into what I'm doing. I, f- I feel like when niggas go on vacation, um, like if I got a, if I got a foreign car, I'll get it for my pure enjoyment. Because I can get girls without the car. Yeah, because like it's fun cars. It'll be fun to drive. Yeah. Just to like the drive it floor, take the top down. But Miami yes. is not, if you can take the top down, cool. But Miami is not really a place to drive like Fast cars though. Nah. Maybe, maybe, maybe top down. How, where are you speeding? Oh, everywhere. I mean, you got, you got, on the way to the thing is some. It wasn't that much traffic there at night, especially at night. It wasn't that much traffic. But um, I, I don't know. I well, maybe, maybe Miami, Miami. But I'm talking about the beach. I don't think the beach. It wasn't. Miami. I was surprised how little traffic was on the beach. To be honest with you, I, I guess it was. I was weekday. surprised how little traffic was. Period. Actually, yeah, I, I genuinely, I understand the appeal of like driving on Miami Beach with a fucking. Aventador SV, yes, hundred percent. I would want to do that just for fun, though, not to kind of like impress the people around. Because the oh, amount of people I saw in slingshots blasting music, I was like, bro, nobody thinks you're cool, dog. <laughs> Especially when it's the fifth slingshot, you're literally not special. This is literally eighty y'all niggas like on the if, same road right here's now. Here's the thing: if you're getting slingshot to have fun and you blasting music because that's what you want to do, that's fine. But well, I, you think, know I think that's not what they were doing. Like I think seventy five percent of the time, that's not why they. That's doing. not why they're doing. That's it. not why they're doing. They yeah, want to slingshot. Rip. No, get bitches. Like I don't know what. Slingshot but I would get. It, it looks like it'd be fun to drive. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it looks if they're it'd be doing fun it to, to have fun. Then I would get it. But yeah. I just feel like that's not their main. Yeah, slingshot. It's no bitches. Like I don't know. Niggas hot trying to hop down out of it. I mean, if you don't get a slingshot, you might have to get you a car. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? You can't, That's pick, a fact, you can't even pick the girls up. It's you hollering at girls to follow you as you drive slow to wherever you're going. <laughs> like, you want a slingshot, a two seater with you and your homeboy hopping down and going, we're going to say, meet me there. <laughs> yeah. By the time you meet you there, another nigga with a room in his car, they're going to be gone. Yeah. That's the funny thing, man. You see niggas like, you're just looking from the outside, you'll see stuff happen. Like, I'd be like, Okay, I'm wondering how many times this girl can get stopped before she gets to where I'm at. And I'm like, stop, bro. And was, everybody, that, that was also another yes, scary thing. The that was of, wild. The amount of times I saw a girl just walk and like three niggas in a row would try to talk to the and same she just dodge girl. them. I'd be like, damn. I'm like, what are y'all niggas doing? So, so okay, so I, I had this conversation. I don't think it was on the podcast. It might have been. But I understand now why like women have like egos sometimes. Because if, if, I if every now. five steps people's approaching me, calling me beautiful... Like, you're going to have a big head. It's going to be hard to not have a big head, actually. Exactly. It's going to be very hard. And and it's strangers. It's not even like you hear friends or yeah, I didn't, random people. I didn't think about it. Like, now I'm thinking about it in a girl's point of view. So, say she had five niggas that she didn't, was it attractive that she didn't want approach her. And the last nigga was on rude shit because he dubbed like, man, nobody wants your ugly ass anyway. Go ahead about your business. Lame ass. Lame ass hoe. And then I come up next. She's not even trying to hear nothing. No, no matter if I'm cute or not. She in her head, she already pissed off. She now don't want to be bothered by niggas no more. But it's, so now, so watching you like just randomly shoot shots all trip was interesting because what happened was like a lot of the times they would ignore it, but like if you're persistent enough, they'd at least look back to see who the figure is yeah. making the sound, and then they will decide in that split second if it's worth stopping for because they usually come in groups. They're not exactly. just strolling alone. So they would, they would have to stop their friends, too, so they want to make sure it's worth it now. And then if they don't think it's worth it, they'll just keep walking. They'll like, keep you walking. say shit. Or you got to just, like, it's all about your approach, though. Like I, I, I start off with jokes. I like to make them laugh, something different that makes them stop. You know what I'm saying? But it got to be, like, but I, I, I really blame the alcohol. The lick had me feeling, like, really, really good. And I was just, I, I'm, I, I wasn't censoring shit. I, I felt like peer-to-peer out there. I'm just saying what first thing came to my head. I was like, damn. You really said that, huh? Damn. Yeah. My 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 theory my theories is that it actually messes up a lot of women when it comes to relationships. How they yeah, how they view relationships. Because if if I get all that attention, but as soon as I'm trying to be in a relationship, no one takes me serious, you're correlating that attention as something that that men want. But men only want that for a very short period of time. That's something they're going to take all that serious. 
but a lot of women can't they don't really know that or they just they ignore like the the tail end of that like they they only they only like really process the first part of that. Yeah, because I mean it's Miami. You're on a beach, so you're in a bikini. Oh yeah, Miami. You. And then girls only. I think, I think I think they're period. Not, it's like I mean, Miami was a, a definitely a is it was highlighted. And then girls further. come out there looking for certain stuff. They come out oh, there. Yeah, sure. They only want rich niggas on that. Like you got to really like woo a girl. Like that's why you got to be smooth with your word. Because this nigga, oh no no, I want to do this and do this. Nah. You think you think diamonds still work since there's so much fake stuff out there. I would just assume by default that something I'm looking at is fake. I wonder. I I think that shit don't matter because I feel like it's your general appearance. The girl attracted to you is not like the diamonds may get her and her homegirls to do wherever you go in a night. Because niggas with that stuff would automatically try to persuade you with something materialistic before, like with a compliment is something materialistic. I was watching niggas and how they would move. Like I seen like no homo. I seen a nigga that's like handsome. With no diamonds, just just regular t-shirt, shorts. He'll talk to a girl, get her. I see a nigga with everything dripped down, diamond on, still getting curved. Like, you know what I'm saying? So it's not the clothes, it's really you. Like if you if you're attracted to that girl, she's gonna talk to you, no matter what you have. Because at the end of the day, if a nigga's hopping down a girl, he especially in Miami, he's trying to, you know what I'm saying? What? Mm-hmm. He's not trying to like just take her to a wife. You know what I'm saying? He's not trying to wife or nothing like that. No disrespect. But it's it's Things came for a good time. So you know from the girl, from her perspective, how that's going to go. But I'm just looking at it, like I'm just seeing because I'm seeing niggas shoot from every angle. So I just sat there for like 15 minutes just watching. So I'll see an ugly group of girls come by, niggas hopping down. They curving. I'm like, nigga, that, that's an upgrade for y'all. And I see bad girls walking through giving nobody time. I'm talking about like, like niggas are invisible. And I seen niggas like, okay, nigga, you knew from the jump that you weren't going to get that. And I seen a, damn, I'm surprised. She ain't fuck with that guy. And he just kept walking. They're like, yo, like, what's going on? Like, it's just crazy. So I never really know what was going through girls' heads. I'd be confused sometimes. I, I Now I get why, like, women believe they're the prize now because of that initial attention. And it'd be a lot of niggas that know that they have no shot. I know, like, I'm one of them that I like to shoot higher. I like to try to get girls like I know girls that on like my level. I like to get her, girls higher, but it's some niggas like, bro, I can't. You can't see. You can't even see yourself with her in your dream. Put the shit on you. Oh, oh my bad. I, I just go. This nigga's like I'd rather not talk. But then. no, but no. I'm, I'm right now. I'm just thinking like I don't know if diamonds work now anymore. They, they. Work. I don't think they work, bro. I, I think they maybe work to an extent. I think what probably works more is having. An identifiable piece of jewelry. So if I had a Rolex watch, I think that's way mm. more. Look at fake watches, though. No, it's fake watch. It's more I know, like. But when I'm, when I'm, I mean, I think I think a fake Rolex will get more eyes and potentially a fake diamond. Just I because think so, personally, the reason why I say this is because I think fake diamonds. When you get close enough to them, you should be able to tell. Hey. But I wouldn't really know what a fake Rolex when, is unless I just like when your really shit assess it. When your shit real, you move a certain way. Like girls can know you can tell the niggas that they thinking like when they when they had a face shit you could tell how they move it because they trying to oversell it you know what I'm saying when your shit real and it's something natural like say you buy something like your like it's nothing you don't overdo your car like you like to have fun and drive your car but you don't do extra stuff with your like you know what I'm saying this nigga huh it's my this nigga yeah. I mean, he drive his car and have fun, but he don't do like, like say if he's in Miami with his car, he's not going to be the type of nigga to oh, roll the window, not, all the man. windows down, blast music, head out the car, doing all, he'll just drive his car, <laughs> go to where he's going, hop out, and niggas like, oh, he really, he really that nigga. But niggas, he not going to have a car blasting the music like, yo, yo, peer to peer, no one part, <laughs> just screaming like, you know, now you're like, okay, he's not used to this. You're just doing too much, unless it's a video. If it's a video I see you doing, but you see the difference. Like that's I how I hate you when niggas do that. I hate when niggas yell out their accomplishments. Like, man, hey, yo, man, remember that Jim, time when we? I'm like, nigga, shit. Jim made a up, Jim made a band. Niggas really getting money out yeah. here. Niggas really and getting. We literally, and he literally interviewed somebody like a niggas be niggas looking niggas like a popsicle, that. nigga. You a lick now. Like <laughs> we got sticks for that too. Okay, bro. Like come on. Like now is night. Now I look corny. But at first I'm thinking like back in the day I'm like damn that hard. Niggas just flat like that. You think that's cool and girl? Like, oh snap. But you the reason money. why it's not. 
I don't know. Actually, I don't. I don't actually. We gotta ask women that. And girls only care if you gonna spend it on. Does jewelry work now? Because I don't. Because that's a good question. Back back in the day, it it would work just because social media and like the like it's not accessible as it is now to just know shit is fake. Especially now with the diamond tester videos, where like majority of that shit is fake. Even Drew, some of the videos are fake. Drew, but, the fucking video, the diamonds themselves are fake. So jewelry's an add on. I feel like I feel like it's like a DLC. It's an add on. I but feel ten like, years ago, I feel like jewelry was easily like I could easily get something with jewelry on, even if it's fake, just because of the you gotta, persona. You got to match the, You got to match the jewelry though. I you, don't. Ten years ago, you didn't have to match on jewelry. No, I'm saying anything. like when niggas had jewelry back then, like real jewelry back then, that was wearing it. Niggas had to like to match it. Like like back in the day, T like niggas that had like real jewelry. They had the energy and like the way to match. Like you can tell. I'm not talking about T Pain level of money. I'm talking about just the average nigga trying to like get his way into some pussy. I didn't have to match jewelry. Niggas just yeah. wore. I, don't, one I really don't piece. think jewelry work. I don't really think jewelry. I don't think I agree. Well, I don't think actually, it works right now, no. It just depends because I know I know that I have like that have jewelry and it, it works. Like it works. Like it's like a. It depends on the piece, man. If it looks like it's over ten thousand, exactly, I think it, might work. it depends on the piece. Like if you have a comic, I actually disagree. I think it's the other way around. I think if it's too gaudy, I think people be like, "Yeah, that shit's no, 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 corny, no." Like a huge brick. It's certain maybe. stuff. Like say you get a custom chain, like start custom stuff, like stuff that you know you can't just pick in and buy, like that kind of stuff. Like, but if it's like a Cuban link, like that, like it's just a plain Cuban link. And I'm looking at you. You got a Cuban link and a Levi hoodie, like. But, uh, Cuban, but Cubans don't. Cubans don't cost that much though. A, a bust down Cuban link? Oh, a bust down. I think you're talking about like a gold Cuban. No, link. I'm talking about diamonds. Those are the ones oh, that niggas. But, just, okay, yeah, shit like that. I would, I would have to double up. I'm like, yeah, I don't know if, because to have a, to have a, especially a thick bust down Cuban link. Exactly. It's, it's actually so much to where I have to like check. Like, man, unless you like really, really somebody, I know you're not just casually wearing that exactly. and, and then walking around with that type of shit. Exactly. So, but that's the point I'm making. I don't think that type of shit works because. It's it's either either it's one way or another. Either you broke and you faking it, or you really 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 got money. It's not niggas in the middle who just really got money who spending money like that because they can just go get more affordable jewelry and call it a day. Hey, Only really re- niggas who really 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 got it. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a custom chain when I'm a, I'm gonna get a custom chain. But it's like I'm not gonna wear it every day. It's gonna be like a situation like if I'm going out to an event where I wear my nice stuff, I'm gonna wear. But it's like if I get a real, I'm not gonna wear it like every you're not, day. You're not gonna wear it to like Shake Shack or the Ferris what? wheel or if I'm going to Shake Atlantic Shack, Atlantic Station. If I'm wearing, if I'm wearing, if I'm going, if I'm going to Linux and say it's a busy day and I got stuff going after Linux, like I'm not just going to Linux for something and going back home. I'm going, I'm going out. Like I'm going to Linux. I'm going to an event or something. Mm. I'm not changing. I wear. It. But if I'm going to Linux just to go Nike, pick some shoes. Or I'm just gonna wear my T-shirt. If I have a light chain, like some light, maybe like a. It's too many rules. You know what I'm saying? It's just, but it's too like many it's rules like to it's follow like, the word word chain. It's like certain <laughs> stuff. I just it's like certain stuff. I just want to do. I got to see people. That are up, like how they move. Like it's like I may just be a light day. I may just wear these. I'm not gonna wear all my chains. You should at ask one time. this on a trip. I actually legit want to ask women like, does this chain the jewelry work now? Does jewelry still work? Like no they're one say no. I think. Oh, yeah. I don't think the chance they're gonna say yeah, that shit works. I love jewelry. They're not gonna say it. Like that. I feel like I feel like oh, jewelry. That how we know how you know if a nigga got money? Jewelry does what it's supposed I to like do. That question. Jewelry does. It gets yeah, attention. Jewelry does jewelry is so meant to get attention. So it gets attention, but once you get that attention, it's different. So it's like say, for example, y'all both have the same chain on. But you're smooth, Flo. Say you're smooth, you know how to talk to girls. You just want your you think your chain is gonna get you the pussy. You you just a lame dude, you just got a chain, you, you, you materialistic thing gets you girls, but you don't know how to talk to a girl. So but you know how to talk to girls, you got a chain, you got money, all the other stuff. Y'all got the same chain. So when she get the low, she got the low. The chain catches her attention. You're like, yo, what's up? Come here. She look over. Uh, oh, okay. He got a nice chain. He dressed nice. He looks smooth. Let me just give him some time. Let's see what he want. Let's see what he gonna, where he going. But, but the thing is, that's all the other nigga wants too. It's just, just the opener. Because for most niggas who don't know how to talk, that's what jewelry is. That's what I'm that saying. Could, it's just, it gets attention, but it don't seal the, the deal. Question, it why, don't always seal the deal. Why do women want their opener to be how beautiful they are? And why do men want their opener to be how much money they have? They don't. 
They that's, do. That's no, why they that's do. They, they use do. It. That's why Girl, they both. They do. They when, when you it. do, when you say that, you normally don't get it unless the girl's feeling you. you like if a girl, like a like, don't matter if, if you a, get it. Or not, I'm talking about the opener though. But I always want the initial interest to be artificial. It's always. It's cliche now. It's cli- like if you say if you say oh, hey, you know what that word means. It's cli- It's it's played out. What when you think about, about right it, now? what's played out? Um, just the you beautiful. Like if a girl is attracted, no, 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 I'm not no, saying no, no, no. you coming up to no, saying we not we not we not saying. Oh, so that's why you want to talk to her. Okay, so her initial appeal is how she looks. Okay. And your initial appeal is that you got money and you dress like you got money. So she's going to be interested off rip without knowing who you are to at least see what you're talking about because you got money and she has a fat ass. We talking, about, we, we talking about the Rosa verse. Like, yeah. not, not my opener to her. Why is her first appeal? She wants to be just completely objectified based off of her looks. And why do niggas want to be objectified based off of their, what they, how much money they have? So you s- Cause that's so. Cause that's, that's what that really is. Cause when you, you are complain, cause you can't drop three DTB songs, and then like, but the answer is like you have money, and that that the reality is, is that's always gonna be helpful or beneficial in any relationship. But if that's what the fuck you're starting with, then you can't get surprised when that's the main thing that people kind of just value in you. Yeah, if before okay, anything okay. comes to money, and the same goes with females. If the main reason I'm messing with you is because you're beautiful. Like, if you just became hideous and I'd lose interest, then, or if you just went from beautiful to mid and I'd lose interest, then it's like, it's not really real. Oh, I thought you were saying, like, um, what, like, when people just say, hey, beautiful. No, no, no. Nobody does that no more. They do do that. People yeah, still say, hey, beautiful. Yes. Yeah. That's it's like, does that work it, still? I was saying, only no. works. The only works <laughs> if the girl's fucking with you. Like, like, if the girl's not fucking with you, that line don't work. You gotta get someone to catch her, get get her attention. Like, you but then be if different. she fucking with you, then really any line, is any line work. work. Yeah. You be like, hey, pretty, pretty girl. If a, if a weird, oh, pretty, I ain't her pretty girl. <laughs> hey, yeah. Pretty girl, pretty girl, pretty actually, girl, <laughs> pretty girl. Actually, girl. Wow. It's coming a little you know too soft. Man. But the, but the, but okay. To go back to your question, but that's another theory of mine. I think both men and women, they're they're the basis of like what they bring to the table or what they may like their their, their baseline value. For men, it should be some mon- not should be, but it is some monetary value. And to women, it's like how what they look like, they, their, their looks. And then as time continues to progress, you want to add on to those things. But how your your value is always the base of the basis of it is those things. And so instead of working on like trying to like elevate all the other aspects. Both both sides, both men and women, will just try to embellish their bases as much as they possibly can, and then hope that you don't. It takes you a long time to figure out that the rest of the shit ain't really filled out. Yeah, that's 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 weird. Like if you're just again, if you're just trying to do something casual, there's no rules. You can just do whatever you want, whatever's fun to you. You know what I'm saying? Create some demons along the way, but but it's like if you want a genuine, because I I hear too many people with trust issues, and it's like, but you. Like, how did this start, though? Like, y'all just seen each other. Y'all thought you guys look good. Maybe he had money. And then it's like, wow, we're surprised. Yeah, I hate that. The I foundation of your shit was artificial. Why are we surprised? I hate that. that. You- when I see that, it just makes me cringe. When niggas just be just talking too much, like saying like stuff that people don't even ask about. Yeah, you know. Them niggas, them niggas they be are, like, they be like yeah. dry, dry flexing. Like just saying stuff <laughs> that you know a regular person I doesn't like do, term. but you make it sound normal. Yeah, yeah you know, I just... <sighs> Scratch the Lambo, put in the garage today, but it's really no big deal. You know what I'm saying? Probably yeah. get some food, but it's kind <sighs> of. One of one of the niggas I went to school with used to do shit like that. I just yeah, hate man. that. Like it just made me look like I was like you doing that. Make me look like I'm one of people. I don't like. I don't like doing. I like just right, keeping you know, shit I went, simple. I went to the gas station, filled the whole tank up this time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Premium no, used to be gas. Worse than that. They used yeah. to be like, I hate that. Like <laughs> now I gotta fill the Land Rover with premium gas, nigga. No one asked what you're driving. <laughs> Yeah, it's, shake it's 93. What do you, you want know, to eat? <laughs> I What's your I, order? I, I, the amount of time I went to, like, I went to uh, the strip club back in the day where a nigga I used to go to school with, or we would just be walking around. Yeah. And we'd be on the campus and we would walk with a, with a girl and we'd be talking, talking, talking. And as soon as he f- feel like he kind of losing it a little yeah. bit, he'll pivot to, like, I, I hate was, that, bro. Like, I hate like, that. We'll be, I, I vividly remember the first time I, I saw this nigga do this. We were walking. They were, he was, he had to go on the other side of campus. He was just walking this way. And um, 
We're walking, we're walking, walking, and the nigga like is losing her. She's about to go dip off, and this nigga he's like, "Yeah, but shit, I gotta go. Uh, I gotta go pick up my." Um, he, he said, "He what he said? He said I gotta go pick up my BMW from the shot real quick. So I'll catch y'all later." I'm like, "Nigga, what? BMW <laughs> is a flex." In in when we're twenty some like twenty yeah, I mean, one years a, that's old, a, that's, yeah. a, that's a nice car as a as at twenty one. Yeah, yeah, that's a nice car. You got a BMW for the same. No one knows what kind of BMW it is. Exactly, you don't know what type of BMW. Yeah, no one knows. It could be a O one. You know what I'm saying? It, Wait, why not just say I get my car from the shop? Yeah, or just say I'm catch up with you guys later. Yeah, but he was specific. And nobody saying, asked me that. Like, you get specific detail. Like I go catch my BMW from the thing, thing right? right? So, so then he, he would do that, that and then he would see her again, like. And then, like that's how he would just get his. That's he how he keep flex. doing he would it. Try to drive. He would just drive flex. Like, he's like first say. time he'll say, like ask me, like ask me a question. Be like, um, can you come to the um? Say tomorrow we having like a little cookout. Say Lowe's a girl. You're right there. I kind of like Lowe, and but Lowe not feeling me. Lowe hadn't give me no attention. So I'm like, okay, this what I'm gonna do. Ask me. Oh yeah, we having a cookout Thursday. You coming? Uh, no, no, I'm not. We doing role play? Yeah, we doing role play. We doing role play. What do I have to say? What's the script? To ask me if I'm coming to the cookout uh, Thursday. Hey, John. Sorry, let me use my business voice. Hey, John. Are you coming to the cookout later? So John would say, no, I already have plans. I'll be out of town, but I'll catch up with you guys when I get back. So say, uh, super flex, John. Now ask me again. Damn, I forgot the line. Say it again. Hey, Uh, you going to the cookout? Thursday. Okay, I got this. Okay. All right, I'm ready. All right. Action? Go. go. Okay, go. Take two. Go or action? Action. Action. Um, okay, let's do take two. Damn. Oh, my God, nigga. Just okay. say it. Get him a paper, please. Tell him his lines. Nigga, just say <laughs> it, bro. Uh, John, are you coming to the cookout later? Yo, I know it seems like fun, but I got a first class trip to Miami I got to go to, man. I got to go out there. I got a lot of business to handle. and I got to get there early because I got to pick up the car, the car rental. You know what I'm saying? I got a Lambo to go out there and shit. And literally, I mean, and if you catch it the right part of Georgia State, there are plenty of women who would have been walking and then would have been like, "Oh, what you doing? In, what you doing going to Miami? What you doing to go to Miami?" I mean, and, they, and that's how the conversation. And was then, nigga, then nigga just take it like for like, like and they're like, "You, you couldn't going to Miami? Her, you couldn't make that shit a dead ass? You going to Miami? We're going to Miami beings? too." Yes, these are, yes. Like you would have thought, like this is like a, a skit, but no. And nobody asked. Like, like I said, yeah, yeah, I'm going to Miami just, you know, just to have a little fun, put my feet in the sand. I'm just sick of being here right now. I'm just gonna go out there. No, no, you don't have to say all that. In college, you nobody of, like, asked. In in college, the most the, like the niggas would make up extravagant lies to women. It was like, nigga, we're all. College students, yeah, you know, nobody, you don't have the money. Like, no one, what are no, you talking like, right now? There was at, in my university, it was people with money, but they were almost all exchange students, and they would pull up in Porsches. Yeah, Man, oh. I was jealous. I was like, like, girls Man. can really care less. They're just going to use that to extort it. They're just going to want you now. Okay, this nigga like to flex and use his money, so let me use that to my. I'm advantage. not gonna lie. If you're that dumb, you deserve to be taken advantage of. Exactly. So, <laughs> so exactly, exactly, yeah. yeah. Right, I don't, exactly. I, I don't. I don't feel bad for you anymore because uh, you did it. To, she didn't know you had money till you said it. Yeah, you told her. You told her. You told her you got all this money. And to be fair, like when I when I'm dating, like eventually my goal, not eventually, on the first fucking date, my goal is to bring him back here, at least. So they're gonna f- discover <laughs> I have money just by proxy of the house that yeah. I live in. But but I don't like go out of my way to. Show them the extent to which, but no. you know it's funny. Some some a lot of the girls I've talked to because I'll never say how much I make, so they just in their head they might think millions, they might think a hundred thousand. It don't really matter to me. That's cool. That's, that's, leave that's it, the leave funny it, part. Too. Leave it to their imagination. And when you don't flex it, it's even better. Like for like when you're like the way you act, like it's even better. It makes it look because when you do flex it, it's like now she already know what you're all about. When you're mysterious and don't like. What does this dude do? He didn't tell me none of this. Like, yeah. you didn't tell me that you had this for what? It was does a girl I wanted to fuck, yeah. and my strategy was like every date, like I just put up in another car. But there was my fourth car. I just never, I never talked about it. She never went in it, and she, but she could see us from outside my window though. So like, in her head, she's like, I wonder what the fourth car is like. And she would always ask, like, oh, where, 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 where are we going? And, and I'll, I'll just take any other car than the fourth car. Bro. That should work, bro. I'm, t- I'm <laughs> telling you, bro. I was like, that's one thing I just hate. It didn't make me so. I'll be sitting there, like, just pissed. I'm like, bro. And then they just having conversations. I'm like, man, this is uncalled for. It is. We're playing Uno. It's insecurity, really. 
that's what it is. But we, it's still it's it's still on. When niggas insecure, they do they do that, and I realize that a lot. And it, and that's how they start off like a slow one, and they get them intrigued, and they start asking questions, they just start answering everything. And they have no game or personality. I wonder if women do the same thing too. What? Because it, it was time they flex, they, women flex their bodies. What they do? I know, but it was a time when we was on a beach and we was walking by, and um, it was quite a few times where I heard a girl just randomly yell like, "Girl, I'm about to go. I'm about to go to this bar down the street." And I'm like, "No, nah, that's you, just why are you that's just girl just loud." But see, I, 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 I didn't. <laughs> see, wait, that's not a flex. I didn't, I didn't know see, if the girls they, they were screaming. just loud or they just wanted, they saw a nigga that they wanted to like talk to, and they just yelled it out loud to see if that nigga heard so he can be. Yeah, if he pulled bar. up after hearing that, just like I mean, appeared, I mean, girl, that'd be a little weird, I mean, girl. I don't know about that. That's a stretch. The girls would be screaming, "Girl, we going to the bar? What? We going to the bar? Tip Street? Okay, we going to water for a little bit." It'd be screaming. I don't know why they like to do that, but niggas do that too. Niggas would be screaming. Be but no, what I'm saying, I wonder if that's um, I wonder if that's the version of what girls be doing. We gotta, we gotta. I don't we gotta bring, think we gotta bring a girl here and just like ask her like, what's what's. The I don't think girls. Tricks? But I don't I mean, think girls flex stuff like either. Model. Can we get a model in here? Because a guy don't really go get a for a ratchet model though. No, 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 like an actual model. If she's like ratchet, runway, that's fine. Like a runway model or yes, our yes. Instagram. We're model. So we can ask her questions about like like a ten ideally or a nine. So then we can ask. Are you talking about? Are you talking about a model, model, or Instagram yes, model? Yes, yes. So like we can ask about the industry one, and then you know, two questions about like <laughs> men and women. So just both, we get both out okay, the way. Okay, that'd be a banger That'd podcast. be a good one. Okay, yeah, we'll make it happen. Yeah, I don't know single. I don't, model I don't know so. what girls. Um, oh, well, John said like he's on his phone right now trying to make it happen. I was like, what the fuck? No, I, know, I mean, you know, yeah. what I'm saying we could figure out okay. how, how we can. Make I know it some happen. tens. Yep. Yep. Wait, I don't what? think he said ten. He said models. No, I, no, I did. I said tens and nines. He said tens. Yep. Well, if they model, then it would have to be a ten. Not all tens not are models, really. because it's some models that are not. No, tens no, 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 no. Yeah. All right, whatever. <laughs> you good. think all all runway models are attractive? I don't fall I, for this I trap question. So. I would hope so. No, they're not. They're not. They're not. All they just, runway models. They just are not unique. Runway models just have the body unique. that makes the clothes they're wearing look good. They just unique. All them. They just unique faces or unique like. You know what I'm saying? Like some of them Did are you cute. Say all those bitches unique. No, I'm saying like runway models are unique. Like when I look at runway models, I was thinking like you have like streetwear models, like Foot Locker models, that like regular people. But most runway models for like fashion design, it's like people I don't see every day. Yeah, because they're all on runways, bro. You not around the horses. <laughs> like always walking on runways, not sidewalks. Yeah, That's but I'm like I don't see, I don't see the, the type of people I see right there to do different stuff. Like like I seen a runway model like used to like my janitor. I'm like, he could have been a runway model. Yeah, I see, you know, in those, like, uber luxury ads, I see, like, very interesting, unique models. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Just, like, just some odd people. He's like a Gucci magazine before. I'm like, where's the rest of his face? <laughs> and I don't think they're attractive, but, like, I guess that's the appeal. It's just different, yeah. Maybe they just, the clothes looks good on them, so they're like, yeah, that's what we're going to go for. That's our look. Like everybody has or maybe they just, they could tell the future, so they know that's what's going to be hip in the I future. See, I see what you're saying. I see what you're saying. But um, yeah, we could find that. But I don't know what girls would do. Cause I mean, like if a girl talk about her money, but girls don't really do that. Love money, cause they yes, like they to spend do, their money, bro. Yeah, girl, girl, I, girls I, I, love that was talking actually about a how much very, money they make. Not only huh? that, it was it was girls not. Love talking I, about I mean, it. girls it not, talk it, about spending other niggas' money. But but I thought girls being that bad. was a weird. That was a weird part. It was that girls like to talk not only talk about how much money they make, but then also flex how they don't have to spend the spend money. Spend their money, they yeah. Make. I was like, nigga, so what the what's the point of you making the money? I don't yeah. get it. Yeah. I don't really see girl about, yeah, just make I mean, unless they do like like strippers or something. They like they like their money. I, I, For you to flex or to like brag about how you make money. You can take care of yourself. But then don't huh? you, but you're taking care of what though? No, no, I'm saying you you can't brag about taking care of you. You're an adult. But that's what yeah. I'm saying. They you know not only but they like not a twelve year old should be able to brag like, yeah, I mean, I'm at the park. Like, I live at this park, dog. But I not only, but, myself. But not only like, to brag, that. but to not only brag about how you make money, but then to say that I don't even spend that money. I spend somebody else's money. Like, another nigga just spent money on me. Yeah, that's that's, crazy. T- that's just, that's wild. That's my favorite, crazy. My favorite follow-up question is, what do you do with your money? And the answer is like 60, 70% of the time is shopping. So yeah, they God. use their money on their stuff <laughs> and the stuff that they want to pay for. They ask <laughs> the, like, niggas who. I was just... I don't know. And then yeah. girls will say they're independent. They're like, oh, I'm independent. I don't need a nigga. But then say, if you're not buying this for me, then you can't be my nigga. So you need me to buy this because you don't want to buy this. But you don't need me, but want me. I think we've we've blurred common sense. It's kind of like, it's all fudge it's just, now. It's just, it's just, that's the craziest thing to me. But it's good, though. I like I like that they make it real obvious. So I just know, like, boom. Like, we could take that segment of the population 
And like next podcast, we're gonna talk about double standards. There's plenty. There's plenty of good like, reasons to have like double small standards, stuff so. that yeah. girls girls will repost stuff that really don't do that. Like mm-hmm. girls will be like like small stuff like haircuts and stuff like that. Girls don't do that. That's not a norm. Girls don't post haircuts. No, I'm talking about like small stuff. Like they'll want us to do, but they won't reciprocate the energy. Like girls will want. Oh, this like, nigga trying to get in his bag. Like, you know, like hair, oh, nails. This nigga, this nigga, I'm getting, uh, this I'm getting in there. really trying to I'm get in his bag. I'm getting in there. I'm talking about it. Like, niggas, like, right. like stuff like that. Like, no, you know what I'm talking about, Lo. I know you're talking. That's what I'm saying. You're trying to get in Yeah, your like, bag. I'm be like, I'm like, man, trying, like, trying when I think get... about it now, now, now that we're talking about it, I'm thinking about it. When you say they spent other niggas' money, I be thinking, like, girls have enough money. Our stuff is, look, is lot, way more cheaper. And it's like, so if I got to do this for you, for you to know that I care about you or, well, if you really do care about you, you want me to look presentable, but you don't do nothing. Like, girls don't do none of that. And, like, girl, guys don't ask girls to do that because it's like, why are we asking? But girls don't do nothing out of the kindness in the talking stage. I mean, oh, if you my nigga talking. You know what I'm saying? Like, girls don't reciprocate the energy and want us to exert all the energy. And even if we still do that, they still don't do nothing else. Like, I, don't, I can't remember the last time a girl has got something for me. Like any way around, like it's like oh, every that's sad. I but I tell niggas that that's <laughs> like I don't remember. T- I, but no, but I, I did. I, t- I tell niggas that's that's on y'all because you 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 got, y'all gotta stop. Niggas have to stop entertaining women who don't do anything for them. And I'm being so serious. None of that them needs do. To, that needs to be normalized. Niggas need to. I just stop be friends with the ones that do stuff. I'm like, dang, I just bought my or what should I buy these for my dad? I'm like, damn, you a good girl. That's not even your nigga yet. But girls don't like. I don't know if it's just the girls I pick. But it's just like they don't y'all, like. I gotta, gotta stop entertaining women like they, they need to know. They don't want to buy like it's like I'm not. But as a man, you're not looking for that. But I'm just looking like. But so, you should though. It, it's interesting you should, how like it's, it's weird. You should though. They like if 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 the female if if I'm talking to a girl and she expects me to pay for shit, all right. But then you can't also then have like this like whoa. I, you, I have to cook or whoa, exactly. like I have to suck your dick. Like, well, you don't do nothing. You don't do I nothing just, else. What else are you but doing? See, but that, but in the beginning phases, it's 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 not even like it's to that. To and we're not even together extent. though. Like you entertaining exactly. other you're options even, exactly. And you want me to do all this? You're not doing nothing else. Just think, just think about it. From up, from rip and sex is nigga, not sex is not, not compensate exactly because it's it's, 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 it's multi benefit both, both of y'all. Us. So it's not just benefiting me. In from from the beginning, there's not a thing that most women do from jump. No, nigga, you are women are they already getting their nails done? They already got the makeup. They already got their hair done. All they gotta do is just show up, and a nigga's already paying for right. this shit. It's not like they go out and they buy a specific outfit or dress for every single first date that they go out on. No, they just wearing the shit that's already in their closet, and their hair and makeups and nails was already done. They can easily come. Presentable, so all that dumb shit about. I seen, oh, we gotta spend a whole bunch of money to get. I done had some dumb no, girl at. I had girls had the audacity money. to ask me to buy them an outfit for our first date. Are yeah. you stupid? Yeah. <laughs> Yo, the only time I'm buying Are anyone you an outfit, John, is like if I'm buying an outfit to lingerie, go bro. on a That's date. It. I'm going. I'm That's buying it. an outfit to go on a date with you. That's I don't even it. know if this is gonna like. I'm. I know I'm paying for the date. I gotta pick you up and I gotta dress you. Women dead ass don't you have damn near my child. I mean, I'm <laughs> <laughs> women, women, women dead ass don't have to try for the you first. You gotta feed and dress. I gotta <laughs> feed, dress, and pick you up. <laughs> and it drop you off. Women, it drop you off. Women, women, and then you say, I don't do that on the first date. Yeah, yeah, you ain't getting no clothes. You ain't getting they canceled. Women, women, <laughs> women canceled. dead ass don't have to try for the first five dates. They legit just don't. They can just. Show up, get fed, and and go back home. And that don't that don't always be our mindset. Like it's not always I need head and return. It's like not like like I enjoy the time. You it know has what I'm saying? To be I, something. I enjoy it. Like, but it's it? like it's like at all, and it's nothing. Like after three or four times, like at all, like you know, like. But they can give like real answers, like. Maybe they're mad fucking supportive. Maybe they're incredibly fun to be around. But so you're like, not going to re- but you're, you're not going to realize that until later on. So I have to spend that. But it probably the it's probably a fun dates, time to be around when you're not paying. But the first five dates, you don't women don't have to do anything. They don't have to do not at all. There's nothing that they actually have to do. Just be and there. They know that, and that's the reason why they they try to milk that phase of time for as long as they can. That's what someone I watched a video about Alpha Male, like Alpha Male video. 
It was like after uh, the third. <laughs> you, you won that. You won that. You hey, won that time. I'm on, I'm, I'm you on watch it. the alpha male video. Yeah, I've I seen a couple of them. Some of my um, one of my a supervisors, my manager, and I got some of my uncles. They like they OGs. You know what I'm saying? They told me to yeah. watch this. They don't got time to tell me, but it was like, listen, to this guy. <laughs> This how we did it back in the day, so you don't get played. That's what and it's like, man, certain stuff. He's like, by the third, by the third date, if you're not hidden, it's not all about sex. But you ain't, you ain't got nothing. You ain't got nowhere. She just using you. D- dub after that. What you, what are you doing? I Unless mean, you see yourself with trying to be with her long term. You know what I'm saying? See where it go. But if she's not giving you no leeway, like nothing after that. Even after the really the second date, if you're not getting, you're not getting no advance. Say, I ain't gonna lie. I've only at least making progress. Like progress. Should at least be like, like if it's, at your if, crib. Or if you're on a yeah. third date and you ain't made it to the crib, she ain't came back. Like you ain't did nothing. Like well, I like, don't. I don't do that. I I do it the other way because I only been in two like somewhat serious, serious yeah. relationship and the one I'm in right now, which is a serious relationship. If you want, if by the third date, if she not trying to set some shit up, if it's only you are the same nigga setting shit up. Bro, it's done. There's no exactly. point. It's literally yeah. not no putting no effort. I love that. You, uh, you just you just doing, doing this shit now. And, and it's, it's like, like if she's yeah, like, she just okay in it. Like, like she's not, not like hitting you up. Which is crazy. You like, just you, basically asking her for confirmation. Can y'all go on a date? That's yeah. basically what niggas are doing. Niggas yeah, be, yeah, but they be trying to like throw you to. Okay, so look. Let's say you go on a couple dates and she likes you, right? She gonna try and bait you to like bring up the date because then you ask her, so you gotta pay for the shit, right? But I'm busy though, so like. I'm like, I might go a week and I'm not thinking about it. And then she'd be like, yo, so like, yo, have you heard about this place? Oh, yeah. They yeah. Buy, shit. They buy, so, then you, so then you go like, oh, yeah, you trying to go? But then boom, now you asked her. So now you guys set it up. You got to pay for it. Damn. You don't, you don't fuck with me no more? I mean. And Sweetie had the nerve to say the dumbest thing in the world and say that. Why do, why do men want to be treated like women? It's like no, it's just it's common. We just want courtesy. the we just want it's we just, just want the feel reciprocated. Are you say yeah, we don't care it, about you, all so you is. don't care about me? You know what I'm saying? It's all like, it I'm is. not trying to be treated like no bitch. I'm gonna pay for shit, but I was like, you not broke. Like I mean, we can do something. You don't gotta be big, but like, hey, let's go get ice cream you on know, me. That's what I'm saying. You know, you had to and I could decline it. I could be like, oh, I appreciate it. That's that's good looks. Like I, this is in my head. I know you offered. You exactly. want to fuck with that's me? You willing to put your money online for me? I'm like, I'm the same way. I appreciate that. I went on a date with a girl. It was like a third date. Like we went on a couple of dates. Um, and they were good. They were, you know yeah. what I'm saying? I like her. On the third date, she planned like the whole thing, everything. And she even like had like small shit, like details that yeah. I was like, I don't even know how you knew that about me. Um, and she had that shit I don't, too. And I was like, I don't wow, let the planning so shit fool me unless she's taking care of everything. Cause she could plan it, cause that means that means that's something that she wanna do. Like I seen her go, oh, I got a perfect also day. Also, gotta be for, some shit that I want. Yeah, to do I got a perfect day for a plan. You are gonna love it. We gonna go here. We gonna go here. All if the she places. Do that, if she do that, that's also an understanding of like she don't fuck with you. She's just doing a whole bunch of shit that she want to do. If she want to do. I'm that, not gonna lie. I do that you. though. But like, if she, I do if, that. If she do, like I'll take them to places I don't, I don't actually whether hey, they hey, like it or not. Hey, I just need someone hey, to go there with. Now, once you get your finger right, do this. Yeah, let me see. Get I'll your finger like this. Yeah, I got it. Get your finger. Yeah. Now point at the day that's paying for it. What, what are we talking about? What are we paying Your for? Your date that you plan that you want. For oh, me, of course. Exactly. Because yeah, you're so doing I mean, stuff you want to do. Like, do you're I want to try this restaurant? Do I want to do this thing? So it'll be different. It, it'll be different. You cater to date a style around stuff that you preferably don't want to do to cater her and pay for it. That's what I'm saying on the other end. Like she and did most a, niggas do that. Do that. For the so, first two, three dates, you doing shit that you think that you she feel likes. like she might like. I would never want to do it. Oh, oh, yeah. I will. I will hope she can you enjoy trying to herself. Do, you trying to do stuff? Oh, yeah, gonna be doing sure. some shit that yeah. I know I'm gonna enjoy. You trying to do that. shit to impress her to make you're not gonna say say you like a uh, sport bar. You're not gonna take her to the pool bar and have her sit at the bar and get a couple beers. And you play pool with the guys and you know what I'm saying like you are gonna do something that you think that she gonna nah, like. That's not even. I wouldn't even want her to be there for that. That's what I like. Like, there's places like... <laughs> that's what I like. That's no, what I like. That's what, cool, but, but you can if, do that with your friends, though. But what a if, date is like, if you want to go to a restaurant... Why is that a norm? But, but, what, but, what, but what if... Or, her, or like, you want to go to escape room, you need someone to go with. You know what I'm saying? But what, if, what if I want to go swimming? But what, but what if... But what if, boy, but what if her what if her date was... Her quote-unquote date was, I like shopping, so let's go to... Let's go to... Linux. A shopping is not a date. That's a date to some girls. But I'm not going to no shopping date. But it's plenty women who do that, though. Or they'd be like, it's not a date... Or we go to um like or they have they have special like um or we buy I I be to be testing girls I'll just say spaces that I don't want to go to anyway I'm like um I said how about we could try um let's go to Ruby Tuesday uh I'm, I'm like um 
I don't know, let's get hibachi or like like STK. You don't like that? Hibachi? That is the worst thing to do with someone you don't know. I don't hibachi? Know. Now I got to pretend like I care about, like, I, like over care. I can't get gas like you would with your friends, though. So then, like, yo, the amount of times I've been to hibachi spot in the last year, and it's just been awkward conversations. I'm seeing other people, because it's such a popular date location. Yeah. I'm, like, well, they're on a date, and they're not talking. They're just looking, not, and, nothing and they're to, like, wow. Because, like, most people on dates, they not, like, nowadays, niggas not really getting to know each other, because they just take, they're just spending money. They're just going out, and they're not talking. The girl's not interacting, because she's just getting a meal. Like, yeah, a date where you, you get to walk for a decent amount and just talk is A1. No cap. Yep. So I'm on my podcast, people out there on all audio platforms, Google Play, Stitcher, Spotify, Man. Apple. Make sure you rate us a five star right in the comment section, Bikini Bottom. Same thing to all my YouTube people out there as well. Right in the comment section, Bikini Bottom. I'm yeah. sick. And join the notification gang. Hit the notification bell to join Noti Gang, 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 Gang. Hey. And shouts out a word of my people who showed us mad love out in Miami, man. It was, it was great. It was great. Yeah, out there. Remember, remember that time? Remember, remember that time I told you about, about the manatees? A lot of them on land. A lot, lot of manatees strobing the streets with drinks in their hands. <laughs> Drug. <laughs> what, that's, so that's John's last word. Any last words? We got manatees. What else we had out there? We had some manatees, some platypi. Uh, what else we had? Some eels. A lot of eels. <laughs> I'm not talking eel. I'm talking about eels. I'm slimy motherfuckers in the dark of the water. <laughs> a lot of mud catfish for sure. They came in deep. Nah, <laughs> they nah. They ain't missed the bus. I don't. <laughs> they, they ain't missed the bus in Miami. What else we had? A lot of pelicans walking around. There were actually real pelicans there. Real pelicans. Yeah. Now I actually see what one looked like. I've seen some of them too. What are the okay. animals? No, I, I meant the animal. But hey, yep. uh, I don't have any final words though to answer your question. Yep. Hyenas right. for sure. They were deep. Must have had some discounts for them. <laughs> Hyenas was out there just cracking up a storm. Hyenas. What else they had? Uh, all right, we'll catch y'all later. Bro. You opossums. John, John is you just opossums. 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 <laughs> Should have played dead. Um, fuck. Well, not a, not not enough not enough what's what's a cute animal not not a, not enough Fox. Oh, those are cute foxes Fo- foxes yeah there's a couple there's a couple of foxes out there a couple of foxes a lot of boars <laughs> what's the nigga from um Lion King Timons <laughs> Timon had a family reunion on eleventh Timon and friends. <laughs> Simone and friends, and they, the ones with like the beat horns. You know, you see at the safari with the horns that's kind of like busted. Not even the purebred ones. Uh, imagine, <laughs> imagine Simone and Puma on a fucking <laughs> South Beach walk. Is wild. Yep, that they it was. Yep, there you go. Just picture that.